All right, guys, we're here once again for another awesome Tuesday night, hanging out with FPVU World. We've got our friends Stan Zilla and Koala in the house with us. Hey, yo. Welcome back, guys. Another hey, Tuesday. Yo. Thank you very much for being here. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hell yeah, same to you, man. And of course, uh, tonight we've got our special guest, Mr. Lambo with Latte. Mr. Lambodio. What up, what up? Hey, everybody. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we've talked to Lambo quite often in the chat. I've seen you in different live streams and stuff like that. I've seen your progression with uh, drones and FPV and just your channel and overall. And uh, welcome you into the FPV world live stream to hang out with us and uh, show off your talent and your skittles and all your uh, hard work you've been putting into learning fpv as well i heard recently with uh, the quad mafia guys so it's pretty awesome mm -hmm. yeah well thank That's you awesome. <laughs> yeah cheers yes king Keek. <laughs> yeah welcome and everybody in the chat too Keek. thank you all for being here yeah. lots of the regulars yeah. Yeah. hey koala's here go <laughs> 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 yeah usually the first couple things we ask the guest is uh kind of how you started and uh how long you've been flying and whereabouts you live that kind of stuff but just give us a little broad perspective of who lambo is where you're from <clears throat> sounds good so uh what from... makes you tick what makes you tick <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> all right so uh, <clears throat> from minnesota up uh, pretty close to canada but yep. uh, not quite up in Duluth, the chili part. Of, uh, <laughs> chili part. Yep, the tip of uh, Lake Superior. So, got that going for me. Right. Nice. <clears throat> uh, nice. Grew up with R RC, so I raced a one tenth scale NICAD. Oh wow! Back in the day, Ooh. started with line of sight. Nice line of sight stuff. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah had the old uh, Futaba crystal radios and whatnot. That was always fun. I remember those. I just <laughs> uh, I just threw all my crystals in the garbage just recently, like last what? week. And, yeah, what? yeah, I had so much crap. Oh, I yeah, you should have oh, made man. a necklace. <laughs> I should have made a necklace. <laughs> what happens when when it all goes down? You know, when it, when it all goes down. Yeah, you're gonna need those. Crystals. I need crystals too. <laughs> hilarious, but you need to operate something like a hundred feet away from you right? at most. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I used to have over by somebody else. Black foot. I had it to be a Blackfoot. I remember. Yeah, <laughs> that was my buddy's brother's first uh, RC, like actual non-toy or you know hobby. Degree. Looking back at it, it was it was a piece of garbage, man. It was oh yeah, it's all so pure bad. plastic. Like, the the black everything foot. broke. Like you looked at it the wrong way, it broke, and yeah, it was just <laughs> yep. floppy and sloppy and floppy and yeah. Floppy yeah, I got, floppy. got my other buddy to get a, a grass. I thought it was. I thought it was great, you know, but it, yeah, it didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh man, so many that's what she said jokes in there. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, dirty uh, man. Yeah. Dirty so man. I had an associated yes. RC10 Team Losi uh, JRX2. Nice. Got out of that then uh, years later. <laughs> Still loved the RC. You know, always watching yeah. like movie shows like F or TVs. Movies, movie shows, movies like FX and stuff like that, where they're always controlling stuff remotely. And that was like the first time really watching like a FPV view of anything. Like, yeah, back in the old 80s, 90s sci fi stuff. That was awesome. Totally. Nice. And uh, <clears throat> so I always wanted to get into it. My buddy, uh, buddy's brother sold my freaking high end Futaba radio, got into planes. I never knew he sold the freaking thing. Oh, wow. That's so he's supposed to give me a plane long, long ago, but then, uh, oh well, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so it I lost, lost my gearbox, and yeah, so now I, I don't have any cars. Oh wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah. You're probably gonna get back into it though, or are you just more interested in planes? Would, no, I would like to get into cars too again. So, uh -huh. yeah, find somebody's, you know, probably some pawn shop stuff and build back up a little, a little garage. Nice. Yep. Have you uh, seen the channel um, uh, Frank RC? He does uh, Canadian uh, live streams and stuff like that for RC. No, RC Frank? truck and stuff like that. Yeah, I forget his uh, his full name on uh, YouTube right now, um, but I think it's called the Tank RC. Okay, 
Yeah, if he comes in the mm. chat, I'll definitely give him a shout out. But uh, yeah, he does a lot of RC stuff. But he's an Ontario guy. He does a lot of events and stuff. He's, I think he's known as like one of the the, the most like out there like uh, YouTuber type guy, right? Like he's super famous, kind of like Bardwell is kind of Noel Jamal and yeah, Tank RC Captain Cargo who knows him. Nice. A couple of these guys know him. I think even Night Train seen him in there a couple of times. He's an OG. Uh, oh, also, yeah, I, I'm man. definitely thinking about getting into uh, RC cars again. It, it's getting a little bit more interesting again, you know, for my oh, age, for I guess. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So actually, I have a question for you, Lambo. Uh, because your name Lambo drives Zambo, do you drive Zambonis? There we go. It's my first season not driving Zamboni. Um, ah. Yeah. The first two seasons, when I first started my channel, everything else, I that's when I first started Zamboniing. Oh, no way. So, nice. Is that cool. what they call it? Zambonying? Is that the proper term? Boning. Actually, that was a letter kitty thing. Yeah, no, that was a letter kitty <laughs> thing. Uh, so that's cool, man. I guess you're, you're north enough, and uh, you know, hockey's, uh, well, I guess ice rinks are pretty prevalent in this, uh, our neck of the woods, right? So, oh, yeah, well, it's Minnesota, mm -hmm. so yeah. Well, totally. yeah, we're, we're yeah. birthplace of hockey so you're either playing hockey or ice fishing right <laughs> oh yeah or drinking or making babies yeah, making babies. Or, all about that or, or all at, or all at once <laughs> yep uh, you gotta give shout out to the zamboni drivers though keeping the ice nice and slick for us <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. So, how did you get your name, Lambo? Did you? Is that like your actual name? Do you have like a lamb like nickname? My last name is Lambert. 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 Yeah. So, or Lambert. Lambert. Oh, nice. French. A Frenchman. We. 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 I got. I got zero French in me. <laughs> Except for the name. <laughs> just, exactly. the, just the last name. Yeah. Just last name. Yeah. I was, uh, <clears throat> I'm actually supposed to be Jensen with an E N at the end. There you go. But I think I had uh, some pretty Nordic. My uh, great great grandfather, some grandfather or somebody that came over. He uh, when he reached pretty Ellis Nordic. Island, there were too many Jensens. They're like, all right, pick a different name. So he like went down the list. I'll take this one. Here I am. Oh, there you go. It's <laughs> hilarious. There you go. Huh? Right. That's pretty. Or awesome. he was a fugitive escaping the law, and that's what he chose. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go with that one. That that one sounds badass. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, look right. who's up here. Is that guy Fly just arrived. Carbon Cage is here. Hey, Putty Tutty. What's that cat's name? It's Latte. That's the other part <laughs> of the name. Latte. Latte. Oh, there you Latte. go. Latte. Latte. There That's you go. rad. <laughs> and Nomad Shooter, too. Yeah, welcome in, everybody, in the chat. Thanks for being here and hanging out with us today while we talk to Lambo and share some of his awesome footage. <laughs> Um, I know Mr. Nomad Ariel just recently did uh, edit for you, like a kind of like a color grade and edit as well. So um, I think uh, if you or uh, Nomad could drop that one in the Discord, I'll play that one tonight. I can't find it, but I do have a bunch of awesome footage from you. And uh, I think we have like 40 something videos, but uh, some of them are really short. So. Oh, we're here for two videos. hours. Oh, yeah. Get submitted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna be busy copy and pasting. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of them, like a lot of them were really short. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just two hour streams. In case you don't know, but I'm sure you've been in the chat a bunch and you've seen the show before. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, awesome to have you in, man. It's really cool. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no mm -hmm. problem. Got my, got my um, Marcel swag on. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, think, nice. I think I have. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a week behind. Oh, awesome. my, I'm wearing my super tight yeah. shirt. That's a big <laughs> reminder, everybody who has a T-shirt. Uh, speaking to you on the panel, uh, to you too on the panel, uh, yep. to send in pictures what? of you wearing your swag and shirts Word. and merch, oh, so that I can yeah. put it into the uh, gallery here. Of all the people Don't who have to do. supported, please <laughs> and thank you. Yeah, so Don't for everybody who has merchandise. I think uh, the last person who bought a shirt 
according to my page or according to the store was uh, Sleepy CBR. So okay. big shout out Ooh. to Sleepy CBR. Sergio's Sleepy in the house. Man. Welcome in. Ooh. King Cleeks has got to get Ooh. that hoodie. You know, this hoodie yeah, I really sure. like too. I don't know if you got the same material, but this one has like that inner fleece. It's the premium. I got the, pre- the uh, premium. Oh, it's a premium. Oh, uh, premium. Yeah. Yeah, Indeed. How bougie. Yeah. So bougie. <laughs> it's so warm. It's so comfy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And uh, the logo doesn't wash off either in comparison. Like, I have the t-shirt version, oh, and good. the t-shirt started peeling after, mm-hmm. like, you know, 10 washes. Uh, yeah. I got a lot of cat fur on mine. It does collect a lot of cat fur. I will give it that. Real okay. boy, what is up? <laughs> wow, look at those people. <laughs> Everybody's here. Party time. Oh boy, everybody. Hell yeah. Heinz. What? Uh, next That's week, cool we have uh, that guy, Grand, who's also been doing what? a little bit of uh, FPV 3D flying. So we're going to check him out next week. Mm. Nice. Uh, and then the week after that, I, I had to share this because I think it's super hilarious that this just like happened to be. But the weekend after that is going to be that guy fly. Fly. It goes that go. guy, that guy grand, and then it goes that guy fly all in one month. So <laughs> be hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah. All those so, guys. <laughs> after hey, that, guys. we've got community hangout. <laughs> and then after that, I've got real boy book fit. And then ATEC FPV. ATEC is going to be joining wow. us on the 21st. Very cool. Uh, so that's going to be a good lineup. Uh, and I thank you all for submitting uh, to want to be on the stream in Discord. That's super awesome of you to respond and uh, join the community over here on the channel. It's super cool. We're building a huge community in uh, FPV World Discord. If you guys haven't joined that, please do. And hopefully we'll set up more events and doing some more giveaways on the Discord, not just in the live streams. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Speaking of giveaways, uh, doing a giveaway today uh, at Courtesy of Polymaker, a Ooh. fresh, brand new roll of red TPU. Ooh. Right now. Ooh. Uh, um, so that, as well as secondary prize being a extra large Polymaker t shirt. Cool. Sure. Check that out later, halfway through the stream uh yeah so otherwise i welcome in everybody in the chat that's here supporting jason just showed up welcome in by stone guy Hot. or stone guy i should say it's just stone fbv but stone guy stone stone that, that stone guy yeah that stone guy <laughs> Fuck yeah yeah so uh what kind of uh drones are you flying now zambo lambo Rambo, yeah, what's lambo? your setup uh Currently, mainly the thing in the air is just the Mini 3 Pro. Um, yeah, I nice. just got that recently. Nice. Saw your uh, footage that, uh, that you had there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's your, main, uh, that's your main bird? That's the main bird right now. Um, I, I won a 5-inch from Drone Poison uh, well over a year ago now. Oh, cool. Sent it off to get some TPU prints on it. Still waiting. Oh, Still no. Still waiting. What? Yeah. What do you do? You, hmm. you sent the frame away. I sent, you sent the frame away. Oh my god! I sent. Oh, I was gonna say if you still had it, I had. Could, I'll yeah, print well, you whatever yeah. you want. I, well, I, I, uh, I know. but no, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> sad. Yeah, tisk, it's tisk. A, a, hmm. a very well known, very well known person that we all know um, has it. Has had it for a long time. Uh-oh. Might pop uh. in here. I don't know. Um, <laughs> How long yeah. we talking? <laughs> it's been a year now. Like literally been a year from over a year from now. So yeah. we need to wow. break like March. We need to break year. some kneecaps or something. Yeah, I was gonna say so we, we gotta to we gotta like... send out the hounds then. I don't know. <laughs> the quad yeah, mafia. So anyways, so... Get the quad mafia boys after him. Yeah, so I've got parts <laughs> in from uh Dan Samson or Simpson Samson Simpson drone yeah. worship. Drone worship, yeah. Yeah. So I sent a radio down to the guy that's got my quad and I'm not even sitting any names, but people know who he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I sent the radio back down. I sent a bunch of stuff with it, a couple of cameras to get mounted, and a bunch of Damn. stuff. But right, anyway, so there's a, a five inch out there. Just bed, waiting. Yeah. Just waiting. Yeah. Big with oil well, name well, on tell it. Them, and other stuff for tell it. them we oh. tell them we said get on that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send latte down to rough them up. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so, so I got a five inch just waiting to get back in. Mm-hmm. Going to analog, got some uh, fat shark goggles for that. Um, nice. Got a tiny hawk three. Uh, that's mm-hmm. pretty much need to remotor up that. Got a few baby apes, tiny ape and a baby ape. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Cool. Uh, threw the bell on one of them. Nice. Lost one on a roof. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, got another one over at uh, Bartman Dudes. I saw him in the chat. So, where are you? Oh yeah, I did too. Th- those ones are actually his, but he's he's giving them to me. But I keep they're his, but I keep losing <laughs> them, breaking them. Um, yeah, <laughs> good though progression. Yeah, exactly. He's putting together some other killer quads. That sounds awesome. So I can't wait for can't wait to destroy. I mean, fly that. <laughs> that was and, wicked. Question. Yeah. Question from the chat. Nomad wants to know what's your sign. Oh gosh, what's my sign? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's your, your zodiac sign, sign? Lambo? Well, my zodiac sign is uh, is Leo. So, oh, there you go. There you go. Yep. Nomad, are you guys compatible? Are you compatible or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to know this. This is important information. Yeah, it, fits in, it fits into Lambert the sheepish lion too. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is the one here. What is Bartman? Okay. Yep. Right <laughs> hey, what's going on, Bartman? Hello, buddy. There you go. No bad <laughs> says. <laughs> That's hilarious. We're so good. FTV or World is it having a crossover with a matchmaking type of show. Yeah. Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hookups here. <laughs> <laughs> I can you put that the video in the playlist in August third minute. <laughs> August third. What's August third? I don't know. It's the date I see there from Keek. Uh, is that uh, Castle Crash? I'm gonna talk about Castle Crash. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it could be. Uh, speaking of Castle Crash, are you guys gonna be going to Castle Crash? No, uh, hope to I get a about it. FPV Palooza twenty four. Hope to make that. Mm. Where's that one? That one's more north, isn't it? Chicago. Was... Chicago. Really? Chicago. So when players. is that? What, what, what did you say that one is? It's gonna be in July, I guess. July. Mm. Interesting. Yep. So I hope to make that one. Uh, last year, made it up to Eagle River, Wisconsin. Got to meet a uh, gem mm. fan, Mike. So that was cool. Got to fly his up. <laughs> he popped my cherry on uh, his five inch. So, nice. <laughs> I, yeah, that's uh, what I was wondering. I remember seeing that. That's super cool. Oh, there's yeah, a, yeah, I got to pull that new rule. together. <laughs> new rule if anybody meets Gem Fan Mike in person, you got to bug him for big bags of props instead of these yeah. bags of four. I want a bag of 50. You know, bag of I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I got I got an orange bag 50, of props. 50, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a waste of those 50, bags 50. just having a set. You know, you should have at least like oh, five yeah. sets or something or something like that. I, I figure if, I figure if we pester him, yeah, I figure if we pester him, he'll make them available to the general public. Yeah, that's their, what I mean. Not not just were, like not yeah. just to get them, but just like have them in stock in stores that way yeah. instead of having just a set. Like no one, I mean, buy them right off. Unless you want to try a set of props, even still, like you don't usually buy like one set of props. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I'm gonna test these props. You buy one set, and then you first right. crash. It's test over. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a one you know newbie thing about buying props too. Is I used to be the kind of guy who was like, and when I first started flying drones and five inch stuff, I was testing different props and being like, whatever, I'll just you know one set of each. But then you go to like get yeah. a tune and you're like, why does it fly like crap all of a sudden? You know, it's like, well, Dude, I'm I, using a I, huge difference in pitch. <laughs> I actually, I bought, um, I think there were, I don't even know. I was at, uh, I was at Rotor Quest in the Toronto area, like I think maybe a year ago or maybe even more than a year ago. And mm-hmm. I bought these, I think it's the, the, the Vanover props, like the, the, I think they're like the Azure Power ones, okay. and uh, I've actually I, I bought one pair or one set, but I've actually okay. never flown them, and I only bought one set, so it's kind of like, right. yeah, 
one of those. Hold on to them for maybe you think, yeah. It, it, you kind of almost like if you're going to use something like that, you kind of want to have a, a few of them so that you can test, you can smack them around, you know, not be yeah. afraid. Um, unless you're using okay. it for like a long range and you're just like delicate as all hell, right? Yeah. But like for Alex Vanover props, they're probably meant for like freestyling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for definitely. sure. Definitely. Yeah. The kind of mm-hmm. props where you can bend them back in place. And yeah. Just keep flying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, HQ is really good for that. But I have you guys ever flown that too. brand Azure Power? I never really actually heard much about that brand. I did a, a while back, not very often. Yeah. Are those the same as Azzy props? Not the same? Uh, I don't think so. I, I've never yeah. heard of Azzy, though. Yeah, the Vanity uh, Style props. Going Ciotti really talks about them all the time for the little guys. Mm hmm. <laughs> It was latte in the latte woods. What's up in the woods? Welcome in. <laughs> it is 420 on the clock behind me. You are correct. There we okay. go. <laughs> I don't oh, think yeah. the wife ever caught that since that's her clock. But oops. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Nice. So it's always 420 then. That's right. Good to see you, fun per volt. As your props Bye. are really aggressive. Yeah, they are for sure. Mm. For sure. Koala milk looks like a local dispenser. Koala looks like an angel today. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, with the light behind his head. (laughs) Looks like an angel. (laughs) He's glowing. (laughs) (laughs) I gotta get me one of those. (laughs) Well, let's uh, start off a couple of videos here. If it gets too late, or we'll be here all friggin' night. Way TJ's in the house. Welcome in, brother. TJ, what up? Huge. Just make sure oh. we got some audio before we start it. Started off with some EBR. Let's go. EBR again. Certified Ripper. <laughs> Certified. Certified. This is a new edit from EBR. Let's check it out. Always <laughs> nice going. <laughs> out. Joe for the Leo. King Keeks making me blush in the chat. Holy guys! Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fan. Hello. <laughs> Don't make me blush on stream, man. Oh. Subscribe to his only fans. Yep. His only gem fans. Well, Quali, yeah. you pop up in so many different places. You have to be an angel. How do you get, how do you get to all those places, man? There what places, go. man? <laughs> Everywhere. You're around the globe, are you not? Or are you just... <clears throat> I, oh, yeah, I go where I can if I can. Where <laughs> I, I go can. where I can. I go where I'm <laughs> and you, you, <laughs> you achieve. I, Good job. If, if I can get there and I'm uh, and I'm allowed, I will go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm allowed. If Good not, well, I'll still try. Ah. Yeah. Shit. Oof. Sorry. My computer just <clears throat> went nuts. Oh, getting the get, nomads getting uh, unruly. <laughs> uh oh, that's always unruly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we we got the internet. Uh... <laughs> He's talking about drones in the sky, Danzilla. Come on. Yikes! I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> sweet summer child. <laughs> if only. Oh man. Hey, good night, Joe Folio. Have a good night, buddy. Have a good night, Joe. See you, Joe. Uh, sleep well, my friend. Have dreams. Good dreams. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Thank you. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're totally right, King Keek. The world needs that. <laughs> yeah, this guy's killing the power loops. Dude, one day I'm I'm telling you, one day I will achieve the greatness that is EBR power loops. One day. Ah, uh, uh, you can do that. You can do that now. Well, upgrades in the house. Welcome I just in. Need to practice. Everything. I just need to practice. I was uh, I got four packs in today at lunch. I was practicing doing tight power power loops with a a sawhorse, in my five inch. Oh shit! And I was right beside the girl. I was right beside the garage, so I was trying to keep it below the eaves of the garage. Damn. And still do a power loop. 
I did it twice, man. That's like really hard with the five inch. It's like really yeah, tight. Yeah. Like you can't yeah, go. You can't go like bad. maybe you can go five feet up. Maybe that's that's it. That's as high as you can go. <laughs> and you gotta yeah, come around and hit that gap yeah. again, like right away. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, I've always been afraid of like the small power loops, right? like the small short yeah. power loop gaps. Those always freak me out. Yeah, yeah, it's a good those little setup with the sawhorse because I could just set it out in the, in the middle of the yard, and not really hit anything, you know. Twisted skies in the house. Thanks for being here, buddy. I know you work late or you work uh, early. I mean, early. It can keep. You said uh, Ken Heron's doing a calendar. Is it send in your submissions to that. Well, what, what kind of calendar? <laughs> is, he, is this a a naughty FPV calendar? Ooh, yeah, right. I don't know. I, that's uh, that might be strictly for uh, King Keek size only. I think. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I like this. I like the edit. I like the uh, like everything's black and white, but the red. Right. Yeah. Also yeah, the music good. too. That's it, man. Yeah. Actually, man, uh, I I actually got uh, I got to meet Redman and Method Man. Uh, they they did a concert in uh, in my city a while back, a bunch of years ago. Super cool dudes, man. The I think it was I think it was Redman. He like I took a, I did like some photos from the concert, but. Man, those guys are actually super chill. Like, super Ooh. chill. <laughs> that guy I used to work with actually hooked up a mess of man. He was the call guy. Yeah. got to town. For sure. Well, yeah, because everywhere they go, they need, to, they need to. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I actually had, uh, had Red Man's <laughs> phone number for smoke. a bit, but then it looks like he changed his number. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> a true burner. Yeah, big time. Yeah. I mean, a burner phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I was listening to uh, Wu, -Tang, Wu Tang today. I was like thinking, I should do a remix of M E T H O D Dan. I was thinking I could edit it in there. Just method sneak Dan. It in. <laughs> yeah. What is the Dan method? method? Nice. What is the Dan method? Yeah, what's oh, the damn nice and slow? Nice and <laughs> slow. Whoa, what's turn. up, fly high FPVs in the house? <laughs> Come Ooh. in, buddy. Hey, what up? What up? Fuck yeah, let's do a dab. Dave's not <laughs> here, man. Dave's yeah. not here. <laughs> yes, <now. laughs> oh, is that a kitty? Meow. Yeah, no, see, howdy. He might be listening in. I think he's working on his Raxus or whatever, wasn't he? He's doing something. Yeah, probably. I got you, Keek. <laughs> the badass little kitty. rip. He's a good kitty. Yeah. Just chilling on the shoulder. That's a good kitty. Yeah, yeah she. Uh, that's her shoulder. She's like a yeah. parrot, but you don't get to see her ass. <laughs> 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 running around, attacking each other. It's great. La 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 la. No, it's not Dave. <laughs> it's not Dave that's got my quad. Uh oh, uh oh. Somebody else oh, yeah, nice. is oh, yeah. in the yeah, jail. Man. Nice. Make sure you guys check out the links down in the chat. Subscribe to these awesome pilots Sick that we've bike. gotten on here. I think this is a, a quick little bike rip that he's going to be doing. I don't think it's an FPV rip, so I'm just going to quickly show kind of parts of it here. But yeah, he's uh, been upgrading his, his setup. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, way wow. nicer. Wow, that's badass. Can somebody uh, explain to me yeah. why all these electric bikes nowadays have giant fat tires? Oh. Wouldn't giant fat tires be less efficient? Like a skinnier, harder tire? Maybe I know it's more comfortable, though? but 
I think it's better, yeah, for like, like off road purposes or like trails and yeah, I think. But even but, so, like a, like a regular old mountain bike never has big juicy tires like that. All of a sudden, uh, they, surly... balloon. they just look a, like a lot of weight to turn. You know what I mean? Like mountain those bikes sand are bikes those can't huge, be fun. Fatty tires though. Technique, like, what up? That was weird. Really weird. Oh, he's ripping it. Yeah. I would definitely put yeah. on some skinnier tires on there for better efficiency. I think it's yeah, the, yeah, like, yeah I think the fat tires is like uh, yeah, it's for like an adventure kind of like yeah. you're gonna be going all over different types of terrain maybe, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think I would want somewhere in the middle, a little skinnier yeah. than that. But still, you know, you can go down a dirt road, gravel road, easy trail. Whoa, carbon <laughs> page. Whoa, carbon <laughs> tisk, tisk. Is that because it's rated? Is he saying because it's fat? <laughs> <laughs> they called him beer can in college. Called beer can. <laughs> well, no, that was from uh, Orange is the New Black, right? <laughs> Let's skip over some of that bike that. stuff, but it's getting some wall banger. Wall banger. I understand fat Bang, tires banger. for sand fly high, but how often are you really driving on sand? <laughs> every time you need it, you're driving oh, wall on banger. sand. Yep. <laughs> every time you're on sure. sand, you need it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that or area looked like that area was very sandy, kind of sleek. Dirt. Yeah. I like long walk or I like long bike rides on the beach. <laughs> I bet you do. Are you reading my description? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, King Creek. Water Better sports. utility off road, to be honest. Too, the fat tires can roll over anything, but the skinny yeah. tires can carve. True. Yeah. yeah. I can see if you got an electric bike, fat tires would be easier to handle. But if mm. you're a manual bike, pe pedaling those big fat tires all the time, man, you'd get yeah. a leg workout. You know? Yeah. It's a lot of unless weight. it's electric and then it's electric then it's just that's what i'm saying if it's electric it makes a bit more sense than you're yeah. not you yeah mm -hmm. man the, uh, awesome. oh, what was that lambo i was say i'm still rocking a 1993 team khs montagna comp so nice it's nice. really it's a sweet true temper frame as light as hell it's like 22 pounds yeah oh, nice <laughs> right yeah, I still have a super old. Uh, I, I my bike's still from the nineties. It it still works, so I'm not upgrading it. Yeah, right. And I, I don't I don't do crazy bike rides. If I'm going on a bike ride, it's only for maybe, you know, maybe an hour at most. So yeah. good enough. So I understand people dropping like thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> on a bike. Yeah. It's like, are you competition riding or what are you doing here? <laughs> I know. I know. It's insane. I, I, I know someone that just dropped like 5K oh, on, a, on a bike that's like, um, and, and, and they're maybe going to ride it like a couple times a year, probably. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. Well, apparently, good um, for them. good for them. Apparently, uh, what is it? Either, I, don't, I think it's Porsche or or Ferrari or something makes like a super high end bicycle, and I guess yeah, they Porsche like does, I know. yeah doctors and lawyers bicycle basically like mm -hmm. go for yeah. go for bike rides with the kids, but they have like a twenty thousand dollar bicycle. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Let's go, real boy in the house. Let's check this. It's probably carbon out. fiber. Oh yeah, yeah. So you probably break it if you drop it, right? He's doing some like long range to... power diving. Let's Bro. go. Oh, oh damn. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is real, boy. This oh, is the real. tigers. Yeah, it is. There's a chat. I yeah, thought it was like in the chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Sorry about that. Fuck yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that was it. Yeah, well, Jay. Oh, it was a shorty, but a goodie. Quickie. That's what she said. Yeah. Quickie, quickie. <laughs> Mr. Crowley from Michigan. This guy's an awesome nice. pilot. It's been around a long time. Mr. Crowley. Fly what you have, fly really how you it. want, fly often, fly free, enjoy. Hell yeah. yeah bro. Exactly. 
What we got? Who gives a shit? What else? Cool. <laughs> this is a badass song. He's always using good copyright songs. I do what I want. <laughs> Bitch, I know what I want. Remember this song from back in the day? Oh, oh. ball with the ball to bang to bang diggy diggy? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I <laughs> love that song. Limp, limp, limp biscuit, right? Oh, yeah. with the ball to bang to bang diggy. It's Kid Rock, isn't it? I did it all for yeah, that Kid, Kid Rock. rock. Kid rock yeah. Oh, Kid Rock. That's what it is. Same shit, different pile. Right? And I'll drop the boogie. Yep. <laughs> I did it all for the cookie. Dude, I, I remember when this song came out. This was sick, dude. This song was <laughs> sick. Where were you when it came out? High school? Probably elementary school. <laughs> elementary school, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what year was that? Yeah, somebody Google, what year is that? Let me see. Uh, released. Let me see, like, 90, late 90s? Yeah, 97, 98. 97. 98. 99. 99. Ah, really? 99. Yeah. Really? According to Wikipedia, <laughs> man, everybody's a, was... everybody's picturing what they were doing in 1999. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, 99. I was at a six-week field camp in Park City, Utah. <clears throat> Ooh, that's I was being a little awesome. piece of shit skateboarder kid that was probably, oh, yeah. you know, uh, like just causing havoc Skate and, and and. and uh, Waxing up fucking curves and yeah, North York, North York hustling. No, no, not <laughs> North York. No, London. I thought. Oh, I, oh, I thought you grew up in there. Oh no, I, I. So I was I was born in Edmonton, but I grew up in London. But I also lived a bunch of different places. Like, kind of moved around a lot. Don't put it in the river. Fuck yeah. Good little rip. This is a great spot. That's a cool spot. Oh, yeah. oh, oh there was. No oh, it was so cool. Dang it. Fly away. It spin backwards or what did it do there? Yeah, I think he spun it. We still need to like clip something? Arm. Yeah, yeah he hit one arm and rotate it around it. Yeah, a little truss. Look at that little. tree. That was inside of the pavilion. Yeah. yeah, you got through the first uh, part. I have to wait for a second. Oh, yeah. there. I just saw my other monitor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get through the but, first part and then try to go through the second part to exit, and it just, the angle was a little. But it just bounced right out. Yeah. But now you just kind of rip, crazy. ricocheted off well. it. Oh, going for the second go attempt. Oh, oh, there, there we go. Yeah, nice. He was going like way faster the first time. Yeah. That was, yeah, uh, was yeah. But you know what? I find. When you go in to do a gap or something like that, and you're going and you're giving it tits the first try, and you crash the second time, you don't, you never go as fast the second time. You're like, <laughs> like I want to do it. But also, but... yeah, I've noticed it's a lot harder to hit gaps when you're going slow. Like everything tracks better when you've got a bit of pace to it. You know what I mean? Sure. Like if yeah. you're moving, yeah. if you're going slow, you're kind of bobbling, and it's a lot harder to hit a gap. If you're <laughs> yeah, going you need... and you got it lined up, you just relax and hit it you know you gotta have faith you're saying at speed yeah, yeah, yeah to, that. a little bit of speed but the yeah, speed you, helps it track forward you know totally mm -hmm. yeah you, you, know, you need a bit of momentum or else you're like I, yeah if you're going too slow yeah. you're kind of almost like wobbly almost yeah, yeah. you're over flying it at that point right here yeah to one to one <laughs> reaction entertainment just showed up <laughs> There's that oh, epic using that one. footage from uh, Nomad. Yeah, that's pretty. That's familiar. Nomad uh, slash Lambo. So check this fucking. This looks video. nice. Yeah. Damn, Lambo. This is your footage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. It's pretty, man. That looks nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, I got lucky with the morning. It was like about 28 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Looks like a cold one. Took yeah. a good 20 minutes to unthaw my hands once I uh, realized what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's a good cool. strong hour. <clears throat> Can you walk on those or what is that? They're uh, Ordox. Ah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, they empty raw ore into it? You can, but you got to work there. 
kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this looks really nice. This looks like Nomad did his thing with this. Yeah, he brought the yeah. skies out. He, he yeah, did everything for this. It was awesome. Yeah, Nomad yeah. had his way with it. It's yeah. dripping with Nomad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fun fact is that these tra railroad tracks are actually connected to those tracks that we were just looking at. So, oh wow, uh, yeah. Oh wow, those trees look sick, dude, with the, all the snow on them. That's frost. Wow, our frost. Yeah, yeah, yeah that or, looks amazing. Or so you can see all those cl those clouds that are like right above it. Those just yep. lifting off of those trees, basically. Wow. So what, is this morning? Oh, or frost? Then? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, <clears throat> yep. Or or frost. Yeah. And not like W H O R E. It's H O A R. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm gonna live stream. Yeah. Hi, Mrs. Lambo. That's my youngest. <laughs> oh, hi, Lambo Junior. <laughs> Mini Lambo. That's Genevieve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that name. <laughs> oh, Nomad was so back to the gap thing. Nomad saying, you, if you keep looking at the obstacles, you got you got to focus on the gap, not hitting the obstacles, or they'll become like exactly. Nice. And I literally experienced that firsthand. It's like if you look at what you're trying to avoid, you're gonna fly towards what you're trying to avoid. You, yeah, it's true, hundred yeah. percent true. Yeah, man, yeah. this is these are some beauty shots right here. <laughs> the CN rail chase. Yeah, really nice, beautiful Ooh, shot. Really cool. Pole on the chest. Well tracked. My vote didn't go through. Finale here. Oh. I love how smooth it is too. Like that, you said, it's the Mini Three Pro, right? Yeah. yeah. That's really nice. Look at the steaming load. Yeah. The <laughs> steaming load. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much everything that we're looking at has all been on the same track. At some, you know, at some point along the same closed circuit track. That's cool. We're railroading. My family's got over what 230 years on these rails. Damn. <laughs> I actually replaced the rail underneath That's... these these trains back in 1998. Oh, so you've got an in. You got an in. Yep. <clears throat> oh yeah. What are they? What are they hauling? Uh, Gravel. It's either or? taconite going from the Iron Range or coal going up to them. I think it's taconite coming uh -huh. down though. Damn. What's tech like? Is that where they get some? They get steel from that or something? Yeah. So it's iron ore that's been like special treated into these little pellets that they haul off, and oh, I see. So they smelt it later on. Damn. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like this looks like a like a movie shot, like a a really nice movie shot. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Here's a kind of a newer video as well, I believe, right? No, this is like one of my first ones. This yeah, is like old, an old, old. Oh, shit. I had no I idea what I was doing. Video. And, uh, oh, shit. Then I realized that uh, maybe there's some heat coming out of this thing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Or oh, some smoke. Steamy. Steamy. Mm. Smack. That's awesome. Hot and steamy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here. Uh, super well. funny. Today I went out to the church. You just like fogged up your lens, eh? Yeah. yeah. Got out of there. Way the vlog. Yeah. Got there's a, there's a uh, link there to Lambo's page. Thanks, Dan. Nice, oh, too. Beans is here. And we still can't do the voting, Good. eh? Freaking. Uh, it doesn't work. I click it. I click it. What's the voting? And, uh, I, see, I click yes and it says your vote didn't go through. Try again. Oh, it's like it closed I, or something, no? Yeah, I don't know. I tried doing it a second time, and it still doesn't work. And I, now I finally just ended. Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, something's wrong with YouTube. Uh, yeah, there, uh, bugs are always popping up. Always. Oh, well. Actually, you know what's really weird? Uh, speaking of YouTube bugs... Uh, so I run an old version of uh, of the so of my like operating system on my computer, and for some reason, YouTube basically all the colors were completely glitched out on YouTube for every video. It almost looked like it was like data mosh. 
mm. uh, where it was just like all mm. pixelated and, and the wrong colors and it was all messed up. Um, and I, I thought it was something wrong with my computer or like my GPU or something. I thought like my GPU was fried, but like the rest of it, you know, nice. other browsers and things work fine. But uh, then then they patched it. I mm. guess it was some kind of some kind of issue, but or maybe it was a Chrome issue, not a YouTube issue. I can't remember. Mm. Firefox, Firefox. True. I use Brave, Brave Browser. Firefox. Even better. Which one? Brave Browser. Huh. Brave Browser is one of the ones that does uh, cryptocurrency type of shit. So, like, the more ah. you use it, the more you generate uh, passive income. Oh, I think, true. Yeah. I think. Does uh, it work? Does it work? I, yeah, I think I make about five dollars every week with it or something. Nice. It oh, used to be a little bit more, but it was popular because other people were using it. And there was times where like I would make a little bit of money on it and send it to Bot Grinder through his uh Brave browsers. Mm-hmm. You can connect to each other's uh, accounts that nice. way through that. So you can like, you know, trade no and way. stuff. Pretty neat. I never heard of that before. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Why? Because I use a different uh, mm-hmm. uh, browser. It's wow! Bullying, more... no man. Oh, yeah, That's so cool. rude of you, dude. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. We're actually a pretty friendly uh, platform here. Uh, we don't like bullying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, unless it's unless it's koala, bully away. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Super, mod, <laughs> super mod, take care of this here. Yeah. yeah, this guy. Yeah, block Nomad, <laughs> never to be seen again. No more yeah, What's, what's <laughs> that guy that does for anybody? <laughs> right, Dan. Everyone's got their opinions. <laughs> Some just matter. Most don't. <laughs> oh, Riot Nine is saying that Brave is shady, Marcel. That's what I mean. Yeah, I've, heard, stuff. I've heard that too, but I don't know enough mm-hmm. about it. I know. Um, he is AOL. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Opera is getting better. Actually, uh, someone yeah. did like a video of the Opera being the, the new, like, really good one. Opera makes yeah, so, um, so hard. Yeah, Lewis Rossman. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Lewis Rossman, but he, I think he had talks about always using Opera or something like that. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. The moist critical. <clears throat> well, if I could do a poll in the chat, then I'd find out who uses hit the what, gap. Hit the gap. Yeah, this is do a poll. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Three times the charm. Man, when was the last time you guys used <laughs> Ask Jeeves? Ask Jeeves. <laughs> last time I used Yahoo or Netscape. Yeah, Netscape. <laughs> that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Netscape Navigator. I think last Netscape time you used Navigator, Netscape yeah. on a computer system. Oh, man. Yeah, ne- oh, Navigator. Oh, yeah, I remember cool. Navigator. Error. Every time I do a poll now, it's giving to me right away. Okay, this time it, it is. Didn't. Dude, Netscape Navigator, that's like a big throwback for what? That's 90s, or that's 90s right? Yeah. Damn. That's, yeah. Found, yeah, founded yeah, in 1994. Back. That's cool, man. What, what was the old... Uh... Alta, Vi- Alta Vista on uh, Netscape. Yeah, Alta, Alta Vista. Vista. <laughs> what was the... Um... Shit, I'm trying to... That's, 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 not, the, that's not the MS-DOS days, is it? Mm. Almost. It was actually much. back in the, It was more in the Unix days. Damn. Okay, like floppy disk era kind of thing? There's still floppies back then, yeah. CDs yeah. are bare, yeah, well. not even really a thing at all. Yeah. You're oh, just geez. starting to get AOL discs at the time. Is it Opera or is it Oprah? I don't know. Oprah, get it? You get a browser. <laughs> you get a browser. <laughs> <laughs> you get a window. You get a window. <laughs> you take a virus. You take a virus. Oh, oh man. Man, this, this is spot is... F-Core FPV. More like... Yeah. Send me the freaking pin. <laughs> send me the send me the freaking pin of this location, FPV. So yeah. the way well, I, I, I was thinking you were. Go ahead. 
No, you go ahead. You're talking. About, go ahead. You go first. <laughs> the way I found parkades is uh, going on to like obviously like Google and like yep. we have up here we have Easy Park and Easy Park takes care of all the parking Ooh. in the parkades. So I just basically so just good idea. Googled the, the that company directory. and then they have like directory of all their parkades. So I just like mapped them out on a map. We have a map. A yeah. Google map. Google map pinned them and then I just like made a basically like a micro slash parkade section to the pv map that i already had for different parks oh, and stuff I got That's smart. yeah but this Damn. is this is sick this is so much room yeah it's like multiple parkades with like the with the walking tunnels and the oh man it's mm-hmm. just fpv heaven right there like those oh i love those man I really love those walking tunnels. Is that what you call them? Walking tunnels? I guess. Yeah, I don't I think know. I got a decent hack on this one. Sure. Whoop. Pedestrian oh. bridge. Yeah, path? pedestrian bridge. Yeah. Smack that window hard. Yeah, he it. definitely did. I mean, these are these locations. This You go to these locations to break all your shit. This is what yeah. happens. Like, Yeah. Oh, man. Because I fucking I tapped it, but I, I think I fucking just smacked like this on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, okay. It, it was, yeah. That was awesome. Fucking a, that's how you do. Oh man, another sick location. Damn. Yes, sir. Oh, I've yeah. seen this somewhere. I, I don't know where, but getting, uh, my ceramic antenna isn't performing that good. Oh, dude, ceramic uh, antenna. Huh? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. crash. Dude, I would just be crashing the whole time, but and just loving it, I bet. I'd be going a lot slower and not crashing, but I'd go a lot slower. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out where the fucking lines are and shit. Just not just giving her yeah, so many you options. Know I, I'm, what I've started to realize or, or what I'm what I'm starting to do when I find a new spot is um, I used to just do a full tits like my first like first pack. I realized like, that's how I break everything. So the, now the, uh, the first couple packs is just like exploratory and making sure I can see like where I can go, what I can do, and yeah. I just realized we weren't on screen. Yeah, that's all good. This is a cool spot. Yeah, we, this is wh- who is. This is what is real. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we don't get. I don't really get. Oh, yeah. Just trying to find it. the smallest hole too. Like, give me a break. I thought I could do it. I wish I had spots <laughs> around me, man. You don't see stuff like this around where I live. I'm walking no. over by the booty. Uh, I think I saw this. Well, that's video. what I was. Uh, I was saying to Marce- Marcel before you came in the chat earlier. I, I was thinking you were in uh, North York still. I was like, I'm getting tired of flying by myself. I was gonna. Come down and visit you in North Train York and, and see if oh, we can no. find a parking lot or something. No, I, I've never lived in North take, York. But, take the train. Uh, there's or wherever there's, it was. Yeah, Woodbridge. I, I was. Well, no, I was downtown, man. I was living downtown, but uh, uh, but um, yeah, there's a lot of really cool spots in the in the Toronto area. Yeah. Anyways, if you're making a trip, we should uh, we should fly. Yeah, man. Totally. Hell yeah, I should do it for sure. Meet up with Hexy. Hell yeah, sexy Hexy. They get a bunch of us together. Mm-hmm. I haven't done a group fly in a while, man. I, I I usually fly by myself to be honest, but um, well, I've only ever flown by myself. Well, you know what the weird thing is, is like I do like flying in groups, but I find that I fly my best when I'm not with anybody. Like I can actually just kind of like interesting just zone in focus and just kind of just do my own mm. it's almost like a meditative thing where like if i'm in a group it's kind of more like i'm a bit more distracted um and but it's more of a social thing mm-hmm. so it's like um mm-hmm. i don't know there's there's two different sides to it for me it's like i i, I do like to fly with people mm-hmm. and and the social aspect but i also just like to kind of like get in the zone and just kind of meditate almost it sounds yeah. weird to say but yeah for I me, like it because it's easy. Like, I can just I take my lunch break sometimes and I'll 
Like today I did four packs for a lunch break. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing work and it's like, oh, it's time to take a break. And I just I throw my goggles, my radio, which are on the table right there. And yep. <laughs> I'm out Get my yard in, in 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, Auto zone. For sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a little different. Like, I'll fly anything by myself, but when it comes to long range, I prefer to fly it with somebody like Falcon Rat or somebody. Yeah. You know, like, we kind of push each other when we fly long range together, too. It's just too cool. Oh, yeah. Do things that you should. Leeward long range is nice. It's nice to at least have a spotter or somebody support there. You know what I mean? They can, like, tell you you if you're dipping your head or whatever. You know, keep their eye open for other people. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah keep an eye on the on the screen maybe you're you're not looking at certain things that they're looking mm-hmm. at yeah yeah that's that's actually you keep, know what i mean that's a really good idea keep your patch, that makes sense. keep your patch pointed at the drone you know what i mean keep yep, your patch yep. keep your head pointed in the right direction totally i've been working on that it's so hard lately i'm like i'm always catching myself dipping i'm always like oh, mm-hmm. no head up shoulders back oh we lost lambo well, what's in all those i knew barrels? he looked paused i knew that he looked paused are those barrels of something? Is that like some weird chemical storage? I don't know. There's that's a lipo fire really cool, in this. Though. I was just about to ask Lando if he ever flown a <laughs> Bando before, but hopefully he comes back on. Well, his his camera cut out uh, like not yeah. that long ago too, and then it came yeah. back, and then maybe it for I don't know, maybe it's a, a network issue, but right. I, bl- I blame the cat. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's Damn. really fucked up is because it says there's zero people watching right now and there's people in the chat constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, it was weird last night. The stream last night was really choppy at spots. It was like, at some points, it was like 15 deep uh, uh, frames per second, it seemed. You know what I mean? Like it was really stuttering. I usually strange. think it's my my slow internet, but other people were complaining about it too. <laughs> Crazy. Flying through Ooh, a fireworks factory. Lamb- yeah. <laughs> well, this is a Lambo. This is a Lambo video. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. There he is. Welcome back. Hey guys. Hey, you made it back. Quick pee break. Hey, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever flown a bando like that before, Lambo? No. As far as uh, what is real. Yeah, that was crazy. Man, oh man. Yeah, I saw that video earlier today. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> this video has got some oh, crazy, be, like, so. theme music from, like, a TV show or something. Yeah, it's Believe from... It or not, uh, that's uh, Family Ties. Is no, it Family Ties? No, it's from Greatest Great. American Superhero. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, so, and this is a cover of that song. But... Right. True, okay. Jerry, what's his name? Jerry McGuire. Not Jerry McGuire. <laughs> that actor's name. <laughs> Jerry He's still around. Oh, no, that's my secret identity. Uh, Jerry Springer? I'm thinking. What? Jerry no. Seinfeld? Jerry, are you thinking Jerry McConnell? <laughs> yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. He was my secret identity, right? Mm. What? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think I made it to a sophomore year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is just kind of my my campy uh, edit into this because nice. Every time I like I that's pull one of my old line. SD cards, yeah, that's uh, whoa, that's Max Air 420 right there. <laughs> that's really cool. Nice. So you get the you get the perspective. Oh, I'm down, the Nomad. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Nomad's giving you shit, Dan. Oh, uh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about old TV shows from the 80s. I got confused with the different actors, different shows. (laughs) Jeez Louise. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I don't recognize it at all. It's a cover, not the original. Right. Was it was it on this stream we were talking about Tour of Duty the one the one day? The old TV show Mm -hmm. Tour of Duty? No, uh, <laughs> that I remember. Where am I though, Nomad? I'm not here. I'm not there. Where am I really? So you Who still signed that? Thing? Is that all the quad mapping? 
Hmm? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. No, that's Max. Yeah, it was a meetup, right? right? Oh, it's Max Air Four Twenty. He's playing. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was that was at the Eagle River thing last year. Believe it or not. Jack and Rye. There you go. Yeah. Awesome edit. Thanks. Oh, it looks like oh. Ryan Nine says mash lyrics be dark. Jordan and Night Train says just rebooted his PC. Yo, oh. this is crazy. This is so this is a video I found today. I had to share it because I haven't seen it. I've seen it. It's nuts. This is I wonder real? like is it CGI? It, this is like, real. It's I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did he grab his balls? This is the new, yeah, yeah, this is the new Atlas from yeah. Boston. Tuck Dynamics. and roll. This one can Tuck actually roll rock on rocks on crazy services that's and insane. hold itself upright. Yeah, gyros and, and yeah, definitely. That's so, oh. <laughs> that one. <wasn't laughs> Dude, it was a million bucks. Insane. I've seen that this one where he beats him up with a stick. Oh, so the yeah, hockey he stick. To push him over. I was waiting for the robot to get mad, break the hockey stick over his head. Like, Dude, take this, it is, this is uh, this break is kind of scary. Oh, oh. oh, that was like what? a hydraulic. Oh, oh yeah. hydraulic blow. Dude, this is actually kind of like terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of walking on air. Backflip. Oh, wow. oh, oh. oh, oh, yeah, oh. Pones too, flipping around like that. Well, that's pretty badass until it got to <laughs> Oof, smack into the railing. Wow. <laughs> I keep him flinching, but it's just... A oh, thing. broke his foot right off. Uh, oh, oh man. If he lands on that log, he's going to... That was down. badass. This is... It is very cool, but I'm, I'm just... I'm, <laughs> the only thing that worries me about this is, like, the, the who... The, the different application purposes of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've all seen iRobot. Yeah. This is just proof that these robots are not going to be able to take over the Earth. <laughs> Wait, what's that one? That one weird show, Black oh, Mirror. Really? Yeah, it just reminds me of like Black Mirror shit. That was amazing. Yeah, that's cool though. That is cool. I can't even deny that. Maybe they can fly our drones for us and make us look even cooler. Well, they Doesn't need their one hundred seven. That was an awesome uh, bunch of fails. Robots. Man, the people who are making world. these are genius or like pretty much. Wait. Was that 3D renders though? Oh okay, no, that's weird. It's like they were they were in some kind of 3D modeling like blender. They're or using that to program program or teach it movements. Program stuff. moves, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Wow, I'd love to have one of those hit. dogs, but for what reason? What reason would I need? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money, too. What would you use yeah. one for? I think Adam Savage had one pulling his, like, chariot, didn't he? That was pretty That'd funny. Awesome. You could have a mascot for your uh, channel. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just Give program it to like mow your lawn, mow your lawn, and like shovel your driveway, and like that—that's the kind of robot I'm interested in. You know, a dancing robot that does nothing for me. <laughs> shovel the they driveway. Put a wig on it. Put a wig on it. Yeah. And they can do some oh. sexy dances. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what I got your mom for, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to, Dan? I, that's uh, that's pretty. Uh... I was talking to you. I was talking <laughs> to you, Koala. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. <laughs> Damn. Oh, if only you knew. If only you knew. Hey, Don't, talk about, my mom. Oh. Don't talk, about my mom. Oh. talk about my mom. Don't talk about my mom. Don't talk about my mom. It's been a while. There's Dan. You, Dan. Al Mac. Hey, and now we're watching an Al Mac video. Nice. Who'd have thunk it? Al Mac. Who'd have thunk Al Mac. <laughs> So seven if you want video though we're gonna skip a bunch here it is. and get into spot and then there's a link to Almax channel ha 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 coming in with the roasting of the roast ay 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 robots uh, yeah. <laughs> isn't that where health is from isn't that Al where <laughs> Al yeah. oh yeah no he's <laughs> yeah 
He wasn't from Almac, was he? No, he was from Mac. MacTac? No, MacTac. No, oh, yeah. It's close. It's uh, it's close to Almac, but it's not cool. Uh, where was he? Who's Googling it? Who's Googling it? Melmac. Mel 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 okay. I had a friend that lived on oh, yeah. Almac Drive, so that's why it rings a bell. <laughs> yeah, Melmac. I always get Almac and MacTac mixed up. MacTac Mac -tac is camera butter, right? Yeah. 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 Isn't there like a Salmac too or something? Oh, or... I think there is Salmac FPV. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Ball sack. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's an itchy sack. <laughs> itchy sack. There oh, yeah, there is an itchy sack, sack yep. FPV. Yep. There's an ointment for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baseball diamond rip. Yep. Second rip with gem fan. That FAA video. <laughs> Timmy's flying his drone at the police baseball game. <laughs> Do you guys you guys remember that video, right? That the FAA so. came out with about drone safety. Yeah. There's a ball saggy ball 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 TV too. Of course there is. Oh uh, yeah. We are high-minded comedy here. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Selma Hayek. There you go, getting that inverted <laughs> gas film in. That was oh, sick. Selma Tokra from Stargate. All right. <clears throat> Ah, I'm, ah, that's all bringing back memories now, Nomad. Oh, that's Stargate. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. It'd be nice to have a spot like this just like in your backyard. So you just like step outside and just have a full out like <laughs> open ah, 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 ah. There you go. Look who shows up. Mr. Ballback. <laughs> Mr. Ball <laughs> Wait a second. That's Carbon Cage. <laughs> oh, I think you're right. That's pretty good, dude. I don't know. That's Carbon Cage's picture. Crazy Aussies. Either that or that's a very <laughs> close image to being who Carbon Cage is. <laughs> well, bless you. That was loud. Sorry. Yeah, how, how does... Uh... I remember when the when the koala milk thing started, like there was another channel that was like um quickly showed up like that. I went I wonder how they do that. I wonder how carbon cage does that. Because that has to be carbon cage. It looked like carbon cage. <laughs> you can change your name. Baby faced. But I think that's face. a different channel because carbon cage is right there and he says guilty squire. <laughs> yeah, he's guilty. <laughs> I love it. They make another YouTube channel just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Who are we flying here now? Jeez, I'm behind on the. Is this one pack now? This is, this is still Almac. Almac, yeah. Yeah. This is still Almac. It's a little long video, so we're going to cut it short, but uh, awesome to see some rip in there, Almac. Cool location. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't play the whole thing because we have a time limit, but. Oh, we got this the uh, this is badass. The Kiss Ultra with the new Volterra, uh, yeah, Volterra ESC in the in the title, I think. Oh, the quality is down to three sixty. That's weird. The quality. <laughs> quality. No, not three sixty. This is a cool spot too. Damn, it's like a school or something. Yeah, it looks like What's your favorite place to, to fly your drones, Lambo? Do you have like a certain spot where you go in your area to go fly? Do you have a certain park or school or something? <clears throat> uh, just wherever I'm at, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, like changing it up. Yeah. So, like, I pretty much have, well, with the Mini 3, it's just always with me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm always yeah, driving yeah. around as far as work. Yeah. So, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's wherever I can find a, a scene that's worthwhile. 
Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm-hmm. But since uh, getting up in Duluth and finding all that, you know, that perfect day that I was there, it was awesome. So, oh yeah, I had to find more things like that. Just things that's really, I guess, railroad nice. tracks. I guess been like a big attraction to me, mm-hmm. subconsciously. Something that's got reflection mm-hmm. and some kind of a potential activity. Yeah, exactly. Smooth. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. But... yeah, that's the really handy thing about the the mini quad, the mini like DJI drones is like you can literally just have it with you whenever wherever you go. Pretty much, it doesn't take up much space. The, mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about the the typical lipo bullshit that we have to deal with with regular quads, um, yep. and and uh, they're just they're just so convenient and and the the quality that comes out of them is so good so it's just yeah totally. it's pretty handy totally. it's a good pocket knife <laughs> what's yeah. up bob's world good mm-hmm. to see you hey bob's here Bobby. this is uh some analog footage with some 65 mil little tiny whip action here we got nice awesome racing newbie newbie fpv definitely like doesn't seem like it oh, oh video loss yeah. or that was scary. You never like to see that. Aye, aye, aye. Those um you see the white lines that kind of go that are kind of scanning across like the yep. the breakup. Yeah. Well, is that electrical noise or I mean, is that on a yeah, diagonal? That's not, that's not breakup. That's like Yeah, that like, it seems like it pulses with the motor. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I think it's uh a little bit of uh the five volt rail going or something. Because those things are so small, there's not much to them, right? Well, what I mm-hmm. notice on my on my five inch quad, for some reason, uh, when I use a Tram VTX, um, mm-hmm. when I would when I punch like full throttle, I'd see like a bit of like these lines, not not as bad as that. And then I up, then I put on the uh, Rush Solo tank, um, uh, and and it still sort of has it, but. I think maybe my I, my VTX wires and my camera wires are just too long. Hmm. I didn't really like do my best to like trim them to the smallest and and you know. Oh yeah, it could be that too. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm uh, wondering. Like, uh, Nomad just had a good point. It's a cap yep. thing, probably. Oh, I, I've never seen well, it. I always have a cap on mine. I was gonna say my Vista doesn't do that, but that makes but sense. this is a this is a sixty five mil. None of them have caps. It's only a one S. Yeah, yeah. My my four S five inch quad. <laughs> I, I never ran a cap on it. Um, huh. Never never needed them on that. I, I have a cap on um, on my six S long range quad, but yeah, mm-hmm. I've, ne- I've never ran mm-hmm. uh, caps on my on my four uh, S quads. Never needed them. Hmm. It's a good idea to have on a 4S. Yeah, I probably would. have anything on a 3S even, you know? Yeah, that's probably what it is. And, I mean, it's not that hard to, to put them on. I could literally just... I, I could go pick one up and just slap it on the on the XT60 or at the the X, uh, the pads on the ESC, I guess. Pretty easy. Get yourself a Vista. Oh, did I say that out loud? Oh, no, Matt said you only really need a cap on 6S or higher. It's a quality of life thing, yeah. life thing on 4S. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it makes a Vista. sense. Yeah, it's definitely a lot safer on a 4S uh, because you're gonna if you're gonna be turtle moding, you're gonna be like stuck in a tree and like trying to jerk it out of the tree by using your throttle or turtle mode yeah. kind of like to get it swinging out of the branch and stuff, which I've done before. You know, you kind of want. Yeah, but that, and that's mostly to protect the ESC, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 it's a yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so a Jimmy the, for your ESC. The ESC <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jimmy, yeah. Uh, yeah. I use a I run a 25 amp ESC on my 4S quad and I mean it's I, I think it's rated for higher than that but like um I never had any issues and to be honest I don't really like mm. to um <clears throat> I don't even like turtle moding unless I really have to. I if I can go and like walk mm-hmm. to pick up my quad I'll do it but yeah, yeah. Um, really? Yeah. And then I always try turtle mode first, but I give up quickly because I don't want to blow anything. <laughs> yeah. It's always worth a try. No, I uh, use turtle mode to dig itself into a ground, and I walk over to, and it's got like this big circle of dirt that's been like grabbed yeah. from the props. It's like, oh, I guess it won't turtle yeah. mode. <laughs> 
So Brandon Beans, he said something earlier in the chat. Um, where is it now? Uh, Look at this easy build. Oh shit! And easy toss to the ground. Brandon Seems not flying so good. <laughs> Koala just listed all the reasons why I've been loving the Avada 2 until it broke into pieces. I guess I yeah. wouldn't do that as easy because it's so slow. Yeah. Huh. yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I saw are, are the, Avada that. I watched your video. I watched the... I think I would just watch your video, right? Where it crashed. And, and the, the, the motor, like... and the, Or, like, the motor brace thing, like, snapped. Yeah, the motor brace, yeah. That was, was the like, question. Is, are trying those... To the, trying to tilt the gimbal or something those... and then it crashed the top of the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are those arms on the Avada? They're just molded plastic, right? They're, yeah, yeah. No carbon yeah, they're fiber just cheese. Right? Well, just cheese. They really should. They're probably exactly. carbon fiber What's PLA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll ever. I, I mean, uh, if they I think put it this way, if they start making all their if DJI starts making their quads, you know, stronger, then that's going to completely get rid of their whole uh, what's it called DJI oh. refresh stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know. Who knows? Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, Shelby Vol's here. Shelby Vol. Welcome in, buddy. Let's go a little long range here. Huh. The arms are fiber composite, uh, apparently. This is Damn. an iFlight? <clears throat> helium? I -flight yeah, fiber composite damage. could be anything. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah this is a helium. That's beauty. That's uh, uh that's I have lovely. to. Talking this about long like range, I have stuff. to test. It does I have to Man. test my uh, return to my beta flight return to home settings this week, and I'm petrified of it. I'm gonna lose my <laughs> quad. I just know it. Like just, I'm gonna flip yeah. that switch, and it's gonna fly to Australia or something. Well, I'm so okay, worried me, about it. It's ridiculous. This is what I'll, I'll <laughs> say from my experience. When you flick that return to home switch. Take your other hand as far away from your arm switch as fucking possible. So because... you don't disarm, is what you're saying. In panic and disarm. Yeah. Or, or like just yeah, get confused. Because yeah. uh yeah, let's just say from experience, uh <laughs> I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. You don't want to do that mid-return to home. I literally disarmed, <laughs> dude. When I was testing my return to home on my seven inch in Taiwan, I literally fucking disarmed from like 150 mm -hmm. meters up, bro. It was fucked. Yeah. It was and my somehow my quad survived, so that's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was already talking to Brandon Beans a bit about it, but I have to like finalize all my settings and you know, like the hover settings and stuff like that to make sure they're right. And oh yeah, I like don't think it's, I don't think it'll be that bad. It's just, it's just, it's just I got to fly it a little ways away from me for it to be a good test. I can't do it like ten feet away in my backyard, you know. So <laughs> yeah, dude, I would say just yeah. like go to a big open soccer field or. Or... I was gonna fly it across the hill, the trees in the hill over here. So I have a big space yeah. that I can fly over towards the quarry. It's a quarry, and then flip the switch, and it'll come back. It has to cross a river, but I'll be in the goggles. It won't be that bad. <laughs> I, I personally, honestly, would recommend like just somewhere open and somewhere that yeah, like like there's nothing in between you and the quad other than just like a field because. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna that... do it from high up. I'm gonna do it high up too. I'm not gonna do it from anywhere near the trees. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. way above the trees. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when I did my re first return home test, I did it like not that far away from me and like not that high off the ground. So there was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that was just that's how I did it. But I obviously everyone's gonna have their own way of doing stuff. But yeah, I definitely did all my. I'm tests just, I just think it's a little nerve wracking. Yeah, mm. it's just a little nerve wracking that first time. It's like, ah, I've got all this work yeah. in this quad now, and I'm starting to trust it. It's flying well, and now I might just be sending it to its doom with this switch. <laughs> what were you about to say, Marcel? You when you did your testing? I go to a field. I go uh, to like a big. Uh, it's like a three length uh, baseball diamond type area, soccer field yeah. or whatever. I think it is actually. Um, and do all the testing there just because it's always open and it's always quiet and stuff like that. It's not a busy area. Um, totally. It gives yeah. you that range where you can actually put the test in to re return home because if you mm -hmm. just do it at a local park, it's not going to get enough distance to actually activate properly, mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of settings on the GPS return home and beta flight now. And uh, if you 
have trouble setting it up or not confident, just check out Chris Rosser or somebody's videos. They've done a lot of testing. Uh, even Falcon Rat, I think, has a little bit of knowledge on his builds yeah. and oh, yeah. uh, keeps it pretty up to date. So, huh. uh, yeah. Yeah, see, I think, well, I guess it's, I, I'm obviously my setup is a little different because I run Kiss Ultra, but the Kiss Ultra return to home stuff is just fucking simple, dude. It's like, mm. you keep putting a lot of that for how how you know what for it's like you know it's gonna rise up first before it you know, whatever uh so you, you set the height that it's, that it's supposed to rise to or the altitude mm -hmm. you set the throttle value of what it's gonna you know punch up at right. and then um you, you set have it, to set your, your hover point too right no i don't think so pretty accurately oh are you talking about kiss yeah, with Kiss Ultra, I mean, Beautiful. you set your, uh, I mean, your, when you say hover point, do you mean like when it comes back to you when it hovers kind of thing? Or I was looking yeah, at it in beta hovers. flight, there's a, a hover point setting you have to put in. Mm -hmm. You have to oh, weird, because yeah, with, with, the, value of what it's... with the Kiss Ultra, like you, you, you just set like loiter, and I'm, I'm pretty uh, sure and it, it like comes back and it just kind of like loiter? hangs out around where like it, it doesn't land automatically for you. It, it's just it's just it's, the whole point of it is, yeah yeah it just it gets back to you close enough so you get video again and then and then yeah you can just take yeah like i'm not really i don't really want return to home to land i just want it to be no. close enough for me to get control or be able to find it again you know yeah you just flip that switch off and then you're good to go once you get close enough to you mm. to get reception or video right that's what falcon rad does yeah. too he doesn't use it to land he uses it just to recover yeah. line of sight or whatever Mm -hmm. yeah, but usually just that. throwing it into angle mode and then just raising the drone up in the air depending on the situation right mm -hmm. it's kind of just the best bet <coughs> yeah excuse me sorry for a tip mute but i've been seeing wild oh, no the leaf fpv is that his name does a lot of mountain stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah hey Bro's where's wild. your big showing yeah. up welcome in where's your big haven't seen you in a while good streams Checked out your stream here once in a while. Oh. Legend in USA. <laughs> These two quads are going to hit each other. Tobias is back. Welcome back, Tobias. Hey, Tobias. Hey, 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 hey. I don't have. I need a sound effect for Tobias. <laughs> Tobias is just too nice. Too nice. Man, he's an awesome dude. That's what he wants. Yeah, man. That's what he oh, wants, you to, think. That's what he wants okay, well. you to think. Yeah, he wants you to think. Yeah, evil. Yeah, he's a secret Sith Lord. <laughs> oh, my GUI is outdated. I must download the new version. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you. I don't want to hear about your GUI. Nothing. He's pulling out his <laughs> GUI on stream. Wow. Yeah, uh, I am. Gooey, I, if it's gooey, man, there's medication I wanna for that. What, <laughs> I want to see what my uh, what my return home settings are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta grab another drink. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna do about you? Did I link this one? I think I did. Is it new? Uh, I think this is in Czechoslovakia. The CZ Studebaker. What? Where? When? Why? How? No, oh, eight bit says I drive a Studebaker. Wow. Fancy. Yeah, a Subaru, but not a Studebaker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. There's a link there for it's flying IFPV. Oh. Oh, Anybody got any big plans for flying this week? We got three d four days of rain here. It might snow on Saturday here. Yeah, I'm trying to catch a leaf transition because right now everything's just popping. Mm. So it's like oh, yeah. there's like a week to get it before everything's like fully yeah. emerged. Yeah, and it's so green when they first pop. It's so rich green. Like yeah. as the summer progresses, they get a little drier. They get dustier. It's not the same. That yeah. first week of green is just killer green. So right now we got a whole bunch of dead trees next to live trees, and it's just like I'm trying to get something out of that. 
Whoa, just in yeah, time. Yeah, we got the wrong buddy. Welcome in, 8-Bit. Mr. 8-Bit, Skirch, Skirch. Skirchy, Skirchy. That guy flies back. Welcome in, back, everybody. Michael Stewart. I haven't seen you in here before. Thank you very much for being here. Welcome in. Here's a link to our friend 8-Bit. So, yeah, so Dan, I'm actually I'm looking at the my return to home stuff here. So I get I can change I can basically select the home altitude. So whatever share like screen, rises up screen. to. Oh, can I can share, share screen? screen here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see. Present. Uh, window. There we go. In the animal kingdom, uh, they call it presenting. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So re return to home. Altitude is set at auto, I guess. Home altitude is 40, so it rises up to 40 meters before it starts coming home. Uh, 40 meters radius, above what it was at? 40 meters yeah, above whatever what it was at. at I think it whatever it was at. Ground. It should be whatever it was at. Yeah, yeah whatever it um, is. Yeah. My throttle position, uh, hover throttle, minimum throttle, but those are just on auto. Then just home uh, action is just loiter. Return to home on fail safe. Altitude source is from the GPS. Yeah. Hmm. Or barometer. Oh, so barometer would barometer might be more accurate though than uh, GPS. I wonder about that. Hmm. Um, for height. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think barometer is more accurate. I don't know how that can be, to be honest, but because like okay. pressure changes, there's pockets of air pressure differences and gps you got 16 fucking gps satellites pinpointing your drone it should be within a meter or two you know i don't see why it's so hard i guess it's because it's vertical but that's what i heard Interesting. i don't know yeah I my mean, gps seems pretty so pretty bang on like every time i've seen it i've never had a problem with the gps anywhere michael <laughs> stewart says it says alter for the win yeah. Uh, another one, right? <laughs> oh, Bye, I'll Mac. Filter settings. Yeah, you know what's good, bro. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Al Mac actually, uh, him and, and DC Seek were kind of, uh, you know, some fucking gurus on the seven inch shit with Kiss Ultra. Um, mm. was, I'll say that. I will say that. Have you gotten into soldering your own components yet, Lambo? Oh, <laughs> I have fun. not. I uh, Ooh. I mean, I did back as a kid. I mean, I know how to solder and everything. So, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm versed in soldering. I need need to get a you know, like a TS one hundred or whatever those guys are mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> nice little handy little lipo basically powered uh soldering iron yeah like unless you guys have another suggestion as far as like a, a good micro even plug-in solder that's what i use the, i i, I use the uh <laughs> i use the secure uh what is it called it's the it's the ts100 um like it's a, yeah yeah, it's, the, oh, yeah the secure sq001 i use that one but mm -hmm. apparently like the pine sill one is really good any of the ones that are like honestly any of the newer ones like that are are really good and the the tips yeah. are cheap um it's all pretty it's like standard oh yeah it might be yeah. a bit of my my bad skill at soldering i'm not a good solder at all but i find my little ts100 is a little anemic when i'm doing like the uh, the ground pads on my ESC. Oh yeah, I you know what I mean. That. You know that one that sucks up all the heat. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it just doesn't have like the heat. Juice. Like it gets hot enough, but it doesn't like it, the heat sink just sucks so much heat out of it, and it doesn't maintain the heat. I feel like a more powerful iron <laughs> that, would I'd hold the heat my own, my own Weller gun for something like that. But well, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, so, like my little curious. TS100 dips. So Dan, what uh, what what tip are you using, and and what power supply are you using, or are you just using a light? I'm using or... a little. I'm using a pointer tip, pointy tip, and I'm using a, a flat. 24 volt. Yeah, I know. I need to get a flat. But, yeah, I'd say uh, get like I'm a using a 24, tip. 24 volt wall wart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. I mean, I, 
if you have a if you have a decent power supply and like a chisel tip uh it'll help a lot yeah i need to get the chisel i know that but i just find that if you watch the temperature it dips quite a bit when you're doing that you know what i mean it'll suck. it does it does it won't, yeah it won't hold it won't hold 400 right or whatever it is i set it to right? i did really struggle with um one. with the t-motor f90 pro v4 i think whatever is in my seven inch i definitely struggled with the yeah. the ground pin on that or the ground um mm -hmm the ground pad on that one uh, with yeah. my little one, but yeah. it, it wasn't, you just have to hold it there and hold use it lots there. of flux. Yeah. Tin your it, pads, it, it, use lots of flux. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll yeah. It's, as well. it's just, it's just about kind of heating it up good and yeah. getting in and out. But yeah, it's... <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Heat her up, get her in and out. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. I haven't flown my seven well, in a while said, actually. What, what it, Michael Stewart says the TS100 is obsolete now. What's uh, yeah. what's replaced it? A bunch of I mean, knockoff versions that are pretty much the same thing. Well, you know yeah, what? Um, same, you know? So what is it called now? Um, shit. <laughs> so there is actually a really cool uh, is, one. Oh, yeah, that's me. Is a really cool one. I don't think it's obsolete. <laughs> uh, what is it? Sorry. What is it? Uh, let me find it. Well, okay, I've heard really good things about the Pine Sill one because um, I think you can run it off USB C, maybe. Um, but also, Greg Spencer from uh, Menace RC UK, dude, he started up. Um, he did like a what's that called? Where it's not a GoFundMe. It's like a what's that thing where oh, people uh, you know, Kickstarter? Start up a oh, yeah. Kickstarter kind of thing. Kickstarter. Type, there's a Kickstarter type thing. He started one up, uh, Greg Spencer from NSRC. I can't remember what the hell it's called right now, though, and it's really silly of me mm. to not remember. He yeah. started up a... I like a the really TS100 because... I like the TS100. I think they're pretty good, man. I don't... So would you, I, that's, I just haven't pulled the trigger. I just need to get a good mm -hmm. micro solder. Yeah. Micro oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So, it takes solder a, go. So, solder go is... S O L D E R ah. go solder go, um, that's a that that's one that's a pretty cool one too. Um, yeah. but that's kind of Let's like British, uh, UK based may, maybe <laughs> U European Union. I don't know, but there, there's a lot of options. You can definitely uh, definitely find solder or solder. <laughs> <laughs> I slobber. I've got a permit. Um, <laughs> yeah, just check out like an FPV strap. Right yeah, just check out an FPV I, I, Harry. I, I like those little irons because it's like if I got the big station, I don't have that big of a, a bench. You know what I mean? It's just mm, more space. Same. <laughs> yeah, man. Literally, every time I solder, like I have to go into my bucket, take out the soldering iron, take out my power supply, take out the freaking little uh, steel uh, wool shit. Then oh, like, I, I just stick in my pencil holder, <laughs> my pencil <yeah>. cup. <laughs> every time that I build, I have to take everything out set it up mm. do my building and my repairs my shit put it away after <gasps> it's pain in the ass free stuff free stuff give away backwards polymaker boot boot give away, <clears throat> give away. think of all the butt plugs you could print with that last chance <laughs> brandon beans can't spell polymaker poly wafer poly wafer what oh 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 wait <laughs> let's see Oh, I bet you do, Nomad. I, if anybody's got a reflow station, it'd be Nomad. 100%. Let's all send them our fried components. All right. If I want to send the One Vision Aerial, that's just a hint as to a thing. One Vision Aerial. Uh, ooh. It's the I TPU. Haven't seen, I haven't seen One Vision Aerial in the chat. I haven't seen him around in a long time. Hope he's doing well. So do I. Ooh. So do I. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, this is the... I see what you're talking about now. <laughs> Where's my drone? That Where's sucks. my buddy's drone? <clears throat> Took off with a 5-inch. I mean, uh, 14 entries. Let's go. Hope you guys got it in on time. I think Brandon Baked Beans is just screwing with us, or he's already put it in up in the chat somewhere. Let's give her a spin. Good luck to nice. everybody. Big money, big oh, yeah. money, no whammies. Oh, I saw my name. I saw my name. I saw my name. Who's it going to be? Man, I feel so special. 
Mr. Ape. Ape. Nice. Yeah. Couldn't go. happen to a nicer guy. Ape. Way to go. I forgot the drum roll. Way to go. <laughs> Pollinator. <laughs> Brandon Beans. Pollen. Beans, he's still trying. He's from California. Cut him a break, you know. <laughs> Eight-bit. I know you don't have a printer. Do you? Would you rather uh -oh. a extra large shirt, or do you want the filament? It's your choice. Extra large T-shirt or the filament. It's up to you. I feel like Eight-bit's a little guy, isn't he? I was thinking this. Oh, he oh, does have a printer. Perfect. I didn't know you. Had oh, there you go. Oh, awesome. That mother yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, then that takes care of that. So he is getting the filament. So yeah. the next person to win go. is going to get the T-shirt, and hopefully sure. that person sure. is an extra large. Get in on that beans. So, cheers, eight bit. <laughs> here, here, Lambo fun per off me. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's almost me. Oh, I think Lambo should win now. Don't pick me again. Don't pick me again. In the woods. Alan, in, right. the woods. Yeah. Sweet. in the woods. In the woods. Still in the woods. Another great winner. Good We're job. We're still not out of the woods yet, boys. <laughs> Where's yeah. in the woods from? In the woods. Uh, uh, in Madeline Cage. Island. In uh, Lake Superior. Carbon Cage. Which island? Sorry that you didn't get in. Uh, Madeline Island. Part of the Apostle Islands. Hey, sweet. Just Congrats outside of in the woods. Bayfield, Wisconsin. So we'll get his extra large t shirt out to I just need an address. <laughs> so hook me up with an address in the woods. If you're on Discord, that'd be super awesome, easy. If not, fire lot uh, 132. Hmm? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just hook me up with an address and we'll get that sent Jump out to you. Uh, I've got an email also linked in my videos slash my uh, channel. So if you wanted to email me, go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise, yeah. I think 8-Bit, I've nice. got your address already. So I'll have to send that out uh, next Friday. We'll get that out to you with a frame that you've won recently that I haven't sent out yet. So Ooh. get that figured out. Uh, what is... Hey, everybody. Brandon Beans is texting and driving. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paddle Taylor. <laughs> Paddle Taylor. <laughs> What do we got? More videos? More, More giveaways? Videos. Back to the videos. Get oh, this shit going videos. over here. Oh yeah, Marcel, I was gonna say, did, did you happen to see my new video uh in the in the list there? It is in the list, my brother. Hell yeah, dude. Yep, the way you get your videos played is either being uh submitted on Discord in the live or not the live plays. I used to have live plays in there, but it's in the share a drone video. Uh, I'll play the most recent ones. I won't play anything that was been sitting there for a week um, because usually we already do that last week. Um, and then the other way is to just have a video that was posted on YouTube in the last day or two. And I'll just scroll through my subscription list and pick some random videos or videos that match kind of the theme of the show. Nice. Oh whoa, that was Is this was is this shot on a phone or something? What is this camera? That's so <laughs> I think it was maybe shot in vertical or something or like on a mini eleven or something? Or like a D uh, a GoPro eleven? Or it could have been it could have been shot in four by three or anything that was meant for like mm. it was meant for vertical and then they just kinda <laughs> It's just art. It's, it's just art, Dan. Come on. Art. Sorry. It's Instagram slash TikTok art. I feel like it's a <laughs> vertical that's been cropped, but then they added the blurry parts at the side to fill the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just trying to get rid of the props. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to keep keep track of uh, or or stay on top of all the different like the formats like okay we gotta do one for youtube we gotta do one for instagram reels gotta do one for TikTok. Uh, yeah. i think the trick is just to say fuck it and <laughs> the 1080 button in your 
your renderer and say fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally do prefer horizontal video, but I like I like good picture as much as the next guy, but I think it's kind of a it's it's a struggle with YouTube, right? Because that's where we share our footage. It's not like we're sending it to the the Oscars for consideration or anything. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> YouTube already yeah. steps on it so much that Mm-hmm. Plus, where I live with my internet, I can't watch 4K videos on YouTube, anyways. So, oh really? Minnesota. Me. Yeah. Oh, this looks familiar. Oi, oh, eh? Minnesota. Oh yeah. So those, are, those are the trains. They got from many the sodas. Dock there. Many apples. Wait, what am I that thinking? looks like a fun spot to fly. Yeah, so this is the um, other I... end of that uh, train, train? dock that we looked at nice. earlier. Duluth, Minnesota, why, let it why, burn, let it burn. Why am I big? Why am I big? <laughs> why am I big? <laughs> why not? Damn. Man. What? Looks like a sick place <laughs> to be flying. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I love this looks like freestyle heaven. Bridges. Oh, yeah, that too. Damn. That good sky. <clears throat> this is my favorite uh, Epidemic band, too. They've gotten back to me on two of the videos I posted with their songs in it. Oh, no way. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Huh. Megaopolis. <laughs> There's the Big Apple and the Minneapolis. That's cool. Yeah, I don't... yeah, it just looks cold. When you get that nice clear sky like that, you know it's cold. Yeah. This I'm guessing is obviously shot on the on the Mini Three Pro. Oh yeah, yeah this is pretty much anything. About, yeah, anything I posted is on the Mini Three Pro. <clears throat> nice. Mm -hmm. Did you have a DJI drone before that one, or is that the only one you've had? No, that's the only one I've had. It's my fourth one now. But, oh, shit. Uh, and I, you uh -oh. know, I, I like to fly. So, yeah. yeah. There you go. Things, things will happen if you fly it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's why I need to get into carbon because uh, I'd rather just keep this as yeah. a camera drone and totally fly right. what needs to be flown. Right. Do you have any parts for a, a five inch build in stock? Like, in your, oh man! Or did you send them all out? Did you? Are they? You, you don't have an FC or a I've stack got, or I mean, anything? <laughs> I mean, I've got a demibot frame. I've got a grinder. Oh, you got a frame. That's good. I got frames. Oh man, that's good. These shots. All right. But uh, we'll have yeah, to get no. you a stack. We'll get you a stack. We'll get you started. Yeah, no, yeah. That's where, that's where Burtman dudes. Let's make in. that right. <laughs> oh. But yeah, no, I'm looking. <clears throat> I'm looking to build stuff up. I got a couple cameras. You know, or. Mm. There was my frame, well, keep, my quad. But... Keep me posted because I got some. I don't have a shitload, but I got some spare parts around. That you need uh -oh. something to finish your build. Let me know, man. I can help you out. Right on. Yeah, I just need direction. I guess. Just right, what do I need? You. Yeah, build up, build up the, build up the grinderino or something. The little one. Oh, exactly. Yeah, no, I'd love good. to build that guy. That's my goal is to just go small. Well, I don't yeah. try yeah. to keep sub two fifty. But yeah, you've already got really DJI matter. goggles. You've got DJI goggles. No, I just got fat sharks. But mm. oh, you got I fat can sharks. Borrow, yeah. It's, yeah. I can borrow a pair analog, of DJI we could say yeah, pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking because like, I've got I've got a cheap and easy. I have a spare Vista. Yeah. A spare Vista, yeah. but you don't need it. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no. I just yeah, I'm looking just to go analog for my flying, flying for fun. Right. Yeah. 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 And then you know, I'm, I'm sure a bunch of us will get parts everywhere. It's Everybody's affordable that points. way, and we can you you. get a hit, man. You want you want yeah. your VTX to be able to take a hit when you first start flying, right? Yeah, you want, mm -hmm. you want to do it later. Yeah, so <laughs> so analog, and then I got a Boxer ELRS. Nice, uh, oh, nice. Radio. <laughs> yeah, man, you're a, set, man. You should be yeah, flying. You know, we could we could we get you flying in a week. Let's get this guy in the air. Yeah, if you got fast <laughs> shark, you got a radio. That's your hat. That's half the battle there, man. 
The right, hard part right. is going to be the three prints. It's going to take me about a year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Well, too the soon. thing that sucks the prints were done so long ago, and I've been watching. I've been looking at the thing just sitting there. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. Damn. Oh, for a while, man. I was waiting for a VT to get sent through. And you know, once yeah, I found yeah, out yeah. next, I was getting sent wasn't going. Then I'm like, all right, fine. I got a different oh. one. That was all there. Just, it's all there. Oh, I literally yeah. just finished. Uh, some really nice prints for Blizzard FPV. He's a Patreon guy, well, and he requested yeah. this uh, time to get uh, his 3D prints. So everyone on my Patreon gets like a certain discount amount depending on their level. Cool. Um, so he's got like a hundred dollars worth of 3D prints saved up. So I ended up printing him new mounts for a big drone. He's building like a, a, an X class or like a 10 inch oh, drone yeah. of some sort mm -hmm. that I, I've never heard of the frame company, but I did all the prints for it. Mm. <laughs> it looks like a pretty cool build. But uh, hopefully he comes in the chat maybe later and let us know. Who is that? Blizzard. Blizzard, Blizzard FPV. Oh, yeah. Blizzard. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Blizzy. Blizzy, Blizzy. <laughs> yeah, let me grab those prints real quick. I want to throw them up. Yeah, do you remember the frame company? <laughs> uh, is this still a Lambo video? Or did I like? Oh, oh, this isn't Lambo. Oh no. No, this is something different. I missed the switch over. I was gonna say, I'm like, this damn, is, he's got nothing but cool spots around him. <laughs> this is my little hobby. My little hobby, my little. So they're basically <laughs> like uh, green, and they have like a little bit of like a shine to them. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, that looks pretty. Different uh, camera angles, um, and then some of them because the filament changes color, it's like a, it's almost like a wine color, mm. wine gum color. Wine gum, yeah, yeah. yeah Is so that like a, a rainbow TPU? Is that what you got, or like a? Yeah, it's a rainbow TPU? green. Yeah, it goes from green to like a dark, kind of like a purplish color. Oh, it's like the the bifurcated, uh, like the two sided filament. Yeah. Like one side's one color. No, so it's not. It's, it's it's not one side or the other. It's 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 like the whole thing goes from one like, color. It color comes and goes. Yeah, I'm back again. Uh, I printed this for him too. Yeah. He doesn't even know. But this <laughs> is a <laughs> apple. Pretty short sure apple. Drone rescue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so a whole box of him for those. him. Uh, plus nice. a bunch more shit for him. So yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and I also printed him something that he doesn't know. Is uh, I'm starting to do these um, hero dummies, basically what ah. I call them. So yep, this nice. is a 3D printed, uh, just a, the shell for uh, what the GoPro would look like, what it would weigh, would be what you would put in it. So because of shipping, um, I only. Uh, setting him the actual structure, he has to fill it with parts to get it to weigh the same. But it's nice. uh, structured the same size, so it'll fit into your mount. Or does it have a hole for pouring shit into it? You put like sand yeah, the on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, the bottom. Uh, so you basically cool. fill it up and then glue it again, and it'll be nice and solid. Uh, um, and it's printed with very minimal infill, or some epoxy um, in so that you can actually fill it, and it will be it'll set up nice. Um, oh, nice. But I also do weighted ones, and the weighted ones are obviously a little bit different in price. But uh, yeah. again, because he's a Patreon, he gets it for free, and it's kind of a added That's bonus right idea. now. Mm -hmm. You need one of yeah, those. If you guys need three D prints, print. man, hit up uh, Mr. Marcel. He's he's really good at it. I'm designing my own freaking and yeah, you should what see all the uh, droids weight? he's printing okay. and all that but, stuff. It doesn't weigh enough, my train, unfortunately, because you'll never really get oh. the same amount of weight with uh, TPU I don't, material. I don't think I'd want to print something that big, 100% infill in TPU. Can you imagine the gooey mess in the center? I don't. That would just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think it would work. I don't think you could. I would use like eight pounds of filament too. We talked about one day about all the different weight sizes and stuff of all the of the GoPros and. Uh, the uh, the lightest GoPro is the seven 116 grams with the battery, and uh, mm -hmm. 
that one still even with 100 percent infill on a, on a, a hero seven dummy was like less than 100 grams or something like that you know so <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's up, drone what's shot? Hey, you, man. hey, drone shot. Shots, 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 shots. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. This is a beautiful scenery. Yeah. This kind of looks like uh, Florida slash California. <laughs> nice. Glow in the dark. This is Stone Wolf. Oh, cool. You don't see Stone Wolf on here too much. That's awesome. He's Canadian, isn't he? I can't remember. No, no. I'm so confused. I can never remember where anybody's from. Yeah, we're starting <laughs> to learn that here. We're getting to know people like uh, Mr. Lambo in Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah. Mr. Lambo. Yeah. Yeah. Minnesota there, everybody? Oh, yeah, you know. Don't you know. <laughs> Don't you know. Don't you know. You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> All righty. Hey, you know what? The uh, It sounds like the... Uh, the the Minnesota accent isn't too far off from uh, from ours. We're like Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when definitely I, some of the down, like when I'm, Yeah. When I'm around with you guys, you know, that's just where it happens. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the DJs from up north. Well, this yeah. is the Canadian uh, stream, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Eyes the buy. Yeah, you the buy is the builds a boat. <laughs> I you buy. Oh, the boat, the boat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Out in the boot. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez, eh? <laughs> See, I don't I, I won't drop an A unless I'm like seriously like imitating it all. <clears throat> yeah. DJ's from up country, that's right. That's me. DJ from up north. But instead of A, would you say huh? Or huh? like man, that was really cool, huh? Or is it? I think not really. Not really. So does get a bit of the A. They get the A. Oh uh, no! Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> we get a lot of ums, but yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's is funny I... when I go up north and just my accent. Will, my accent can go really thick. <laughs> and it flexes to whatever. Yeah, I'm sure if you got one, you can always turn it up a notch. Turn it up oh, to yeah. 11. Yeah, I was a phone jockey oh, for yeah. Wells Fargo for a long time. <laughs> and would, like, say I was Canadian all the time. <laughs> awesome. If you were on uh, Wells Fargo, Park, you would be one of the Canadian uh, characters instead of an actual South Park character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'd have a floppy head. You wouldn't have a floppy head. <clears throat> yeah, I think most of us our first real exposure to that accent was from Fargo, the movie, you know. Yeah, that's Fargo. your partner in the wood chipper there, eh? <laughs> <awesome. Yeah>. hey, bye. <laughs> Such a stereotype, but I think it's accurate <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. If I listen to my or watch Fargo, listen to my mom. It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Your mom's probably like, I don't sound like that. <laughs> I'm not just funny, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. White bear, go bears. Go bears. <laughs> go bears. Glow in the dark. What is nice. going on here? Uh -huh. It's a sort of funny looking in a you know funny looking way. A yeah, nice landing nice spot landing. right in the back. Yeah. I'd yeah. be my preferred spot if I had a back end like that. What is this? I don't know. It's a, oh, a little, little three wheeler. Back. That's sweet. You want to go for a ride in my three wheeler, Morgan? Oh what? What's that? Hell yeah. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize what was going on. Dude, throw the throw the drones in the back. Go to the mountains. Go for a little rep there, buddy. Hell yeah! It's a oh. it's a Czechoslovakian three wheel micro car, made in 1963 to 1971. It's got a 350 cc two stroke engine for 16 Damn. horsepower. 
<laughs> they could do 85 kilometers an hour. Wow. Perfect. That looks safe. Nice <laughs> oh, and the quads are in the back. Yeah. Comfy cruising speed is 60 to 70 km. That it's called the Velo Rex 350. That is pretty fucking cool. Awesome. Yeah, I need me one. Oh, and are they flying? Oh, someone's flying and driving? That yeah, I think cool. the passenger seat guy is flying. He's got a 360 yeah. camera. Yeah. It's holding yeah, but I think he's also flying as well, too, sometimes. Oh, really? Oh, and look at look at where they are too! Isn't this amazing? Like the, look at that mountain, Marcel. Wow. What would you do with that yeah, mountain, man? Eh? Yeah, I'd be there all <laughs> I think it was a, I think it was a Swiss license plate. Yeah, it might be, be in the Alps. Look, like, look at that mm -hmm. in the background, yeah, man. That's all I'm looking at. It was a Swiss car, wasn't it? It was a Czechoslovakian car. Oh, yeah, Czech Czech car. But it, yeah, yeah. Wow. It looks very Swiss Alpsy. That's a drawer shot for sure. Day. You don't think that's a stick? That's a drone shot for sure. <laughs> you can see it away, it's fine. It's a long stick. <laughs> that was a tripod, bro. That's that another drone tripod, shot. But... Yeah, that's the answer to the drone shot, right? Yeah, you can definitely tell. That's definitely maybe a, someone holding it. That's someone the holding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the past could be a gimbal. That's just a gimbal. Yeah. That's a drone <laughs> shot. That's definitely a tripod shot right there. Oh, man, that's handheld. <laughs> that's handheld. <laughs> That's handheld. I don't know. Hundred percent. Fuck yeah, this is sick. This, this is, is really great. Cool. Sick. Oh, and they're standing right there. Okay, so yeah. they're not sitting in the oh, car. Yeah, flying. Right. No, it's sick. Oh, yeah, we lost the guy. Get somebody who has a car and just fucking. All right, I gotta film your car and then have an epic area to do it. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you need an epic car and you need an epic place, mm -hmm. uh, location to do it. You just gotta find some rich people with fancy really cars. This... The song yeah. doesn't quite go though. No, it doesn't. It does though. In a way, it does though. You know what I no, mean? No, we need like an American muscle car for this track. <laughs> American yeah. muscle car. <laughs> yeah. Or like yeah, motorcycle. Right. Or it, it doesn't work, but it worked. The beat pulls through. Like they yeah. cut it well. <laughs> Very well edited. What do you think of the color, yeah. Nomad? <laughs> Oh man, look at those! Look at those! That range on the left. Yeah, I'd just I know, it man. Every just time I see a mountain or a hill on TV, I'm like, I want to fly to that. <laughs> Dive down that crevasse right there, dude. That's in the mini over there. Even. Before I have to like. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Be beautiful <laughs> over that. I'd send a 65 millimeter tiny move over there. <laughs> Oh, that'd be cool, right? eh? One way, one way long range. You're 65. And then oh, is this fail yeah. safe? Yeah, it's just fail safe. Is yeah. Nice, uh, UK buddy. Yeah, I, I got to fly with him a couple uh, times actually. Uh, right at uh, Jesus. FP, FPV Drone Fest UK 2022. Mm. Yeah, he's drone a riffer, fest. dude. This drone guy, fest. This guy's nuts. Where do they have drone fest? In the what UK. Town. <laughs> what oh, town? That's that, what I, I know that. Oh. Uh, so it was in uh, Clipstone. Or no, it wasn't in Clipstone. Uh, wait. Yeah, it was. It was it. So there in Uncrashed, there's actually a map uh, for the place that I, for the hmm. Clipstone Colliery is where the one I was at, uh, which is in Clipstone, UK, I think. Uh, and it's, in, it's an Uncrashed map. And that's where actually I met uh, Failsafe. It's funny, man, because he crashed his drone on the top of this colliery thing, and we oh, sent yeah. we sent my Mavic Pro up for like a recon mission, but uh, it was like it was unrecoverable. So I think he's oh no, he's, he's got a lost quad up in the top there. Are you talking about the wings and wheels? <laughs> or are you talking about a different event? Uh, no, I'm talking about FPV. Well, it was Insta360 FPV Drone Fest UK. Um, it's a bit of a mouthful, but um, mm -hmm. sponsored by GoPro. That's what she said. Uh, not GoPro. Um, oh yeah, that was a joke. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, my brain is. I, I'm I'm tired, but uh, yeah, um, it was cool, man. Uh, there's a lot of people that at this event, at the event that I met them at, man. It was like Failsafe was there, Andy RC was there. Um, <laughs> All the let's drone out guys um yeah it was fucking sick man yeah. this, this location was, here is pretty freaking wild 
Oh man, yeah, those guys. Those sunroof, the lights, the sunlights, and the. Whatever man, watch this dive! Watch it! Oh wait, wait! He and he goes for this insane dive. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's I think it's this part. I just watched one of those windows. Yeah, yeah, he's not. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Zing! Like, oh. His legs seem so loose. Like, yeah. That was a clencher. How was he even like, oh, what the hell? Bro, I, I, he's not, bro, he's young too, bro. He's like, I think he's maybe 20. Oh, he's one of those. Yeah, he might like be Everything 20. he's doing is on feeling. There's like no precision on those things at all. Look at his fingers. Yeah, he's... He's he's nuts. <laughs> hey, yeah, if you guys want to see some crazy videos, go look up Failsafe FPV, man. He's he's really dope. Yeah. Oh. oh. What does it say about his setup? Does it? There's the information on about the drone fest there in the chat. Uh, Here's an awesome flight from Mr. Uh, himself. Oh, well, well, no. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah. I know that guy. I just flew this spot on uh, on Sunday, and uh, man, it's already changed. It's already uh, I, I drove past it today. It's already different now. Are you gonna refly it again? I'm gonna see. I, I might go back there with uh, with um, a couple of buddies of mine. I was just doing the solo this time, but I'll probably go back. It's gonna get better. I bet. It's, I think if they build it up, it'll be pretty cool. It's actually like my first time doing dive gaps, um, which was pretty interesting. <laughs> there it was. You put it in writing. Yeah. Uh, I looked away. I'm sorry. I missed it. Okay. What? Oh, there'll there be some more. Cool, right? There's a couple more. I know. I know. I'm a jerk. Oh, I just saw it on my other monitor. Nice. Man, that'd be really amazing to be able to go to the UK and go to that. It looks like a cool event. I'm looking up some information on it yeah. right now. Yeah, man. Is it the one that's at the um, the one that's at like the paintball place or whatever? Uh, Mobs Wood Farms, Brinkwood, Amstree, Coventry. Oh yeah, Warzone, right? Warzone one. Yeah. 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 Sounds like it could be paintball. Yeah, it's uh, it's apparently it's gonna be a pretty sick one, dude. It's uh, oh, weird. Thursday. Yeah, gem fans are hosting it this year, big time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They always, man, FPV Drone Fest always has like really, really sick uh, sponsors and everything like that. A lot of giveaways, a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff, man. Yeah, Mike I still have. That's right. Jump fan Mike was at a uh, that wasn't he? I think I thought I saw him. He may have been actually. Uh, uh George. Jim fan Mike. Let me see. Hey, there was a construction Mike worker Ray. there. Were they cool? He flying around. Who was that construction again? worker there? Hmm? Is it? I don't know. Is that a construction worker, Dan? It looks like one. You just did a. <laughs> you just. <laughs> You just did a flip over a construction worker. I was like, oh, that's kind of close. Wasn't I, it? Yes, of course. The construction workers have to do site surveys there, Dan. You know, uh, that's where they wear hard hats. Exactly. Was, was that, that what you were doing? Yeah. The, you were doing a site survey. Is that what your job is? <laughs> it, uh, I mean, <laughs> what, what else would construction workers and construction vests be doing at a construction site on a Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> no, I get that. But you're flying really. I was saying you're flying really close to. Him. That might have been. <laughs> yes, yeah. I was climbing very close to the construction worker doing the site survey on a Sunday at a construction site. <laughs> <I am. laughs> You're by the red car, aren't you? I don't know, Dan. Am I? Aren't you the red car? But there was somebody. There was somebody right outside the door there, like in the lot. You'll have wait, to, wait, you'll have nudge, to... nudge. I don't think you're getting the point. <laughs> Watch it no, again. That's the point. I do not. I'm asking a serious question. <laughs> no, I know. He's not going to answer this question. Only Dan can uncover the mystery on his own <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he answer truthfully? <laughs> uh, <I don't> <laughs> 
Jeez, actually pretty tight though. The like this this room <laughs> it looks kind of big, but it's actually not very big, and it was kind of scary. She said, yeah. "Oh, there's another yeah. construction worker, Dan. Whoa, yeah. there's another construction worker on the construction site. I wasn't looking. He was wearing a vest. You see him? Yeah. Well, obviously <laughs> they didn't give a fuck because you're flying there all night. All yeah, day. dude, they didn't give a single yeah. fuck, bro. The construction workers are so cool, man. They're like, come on oh. in. Nice. Yeah. They have no idea oh. anything's going on. No. Nope. Nobody the big red car. No. That's a wicked flight, bro. Thanks, man. That was fun. <laughs> I, it was, it was, flying in a long time. It was a good spot, though. It was my first time flying uh, a construction site in a really long time, and it, it's not the. It wasn't the best construction site. It had some cool stuff, but um, it. You know, I can't complain. It was is really close to where I live, so I'm like, I'm just like happy that whoa, it's there. 3D. Oh, whoa! Nice. Win Jumby. Win Jumby, that guy I've been hearing so much about. All good yeah. thing. He's pushing the limits over there with the. With the parts he's got, that's for sure, man. He's killing it. Where are they? Here is the link. He's in Florida. Nice. Yeah, it's their Florida mountains. <laughs> yeah, it's very Floridian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. Like America, UK, all these places have so many events, but does Canada even have one? We oh, have yeah. multi GP races. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried hosting uh, freestyle events here. Just we don't we have as many pilots as you guys in the states. We're we're pretty spread out too. Yeah, I, I guess the, behind, so. Yeah, the logistics of it is probably tough for Canada. Yeah, we we don't have the demo. It's and it's the same thing for like every industry. Like we don't have the demographic. <laughs> mm. <laughs> And the people who we do don't have the population from each other it's like i don't know it's weird yeah like i've got i've got a few of us that can like meet up here but the timing is always different and so like it'll be usually it'll be like me and conrad we're talking about yeah. it, that's it really but because we fly like every weekend most people yeah, yeah. That I around here they'll fly like maybe every other weekend or Whatever. They just here and again, here and then, yeah, and now and again, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I I used to try to get out and fly every weekend, and just oh, whoa, sick! Oh, that's really nice. sick. Damn. Uh, Is this Lambo? Is this you? Yeah. This yeah. Is Lambo. Bro, that's fucking sick, man. These kids have done such a great job. They got rid of all the dicks off the top of this roof too in the last two oh, weeks. Oh man, good. They, they like why ruin such a sick spot with dicks? I know, right? Damn. So what? You, you got to climb up a ladder. I'm guessing, obviously. No, like they climb up inside of the building. It's just yeah, yeah. So, well, <clears throat> I don't understand because it's not really abandoned because everything around it is active. Huh. Yeah. And these hmm. kids are up there all day, every day, like. Just constantly. That's, that's actually yeah. sick. Just hanging out and smoking pot. Yeah. Be a bad yeah. Ass ass ass. Ass. Like that's all they do. That'd be a sick place <laughs> to go and and smoke a blunt and watch the sunset. Yeah, I chased them off the other night accidentally. Uh, oh, they like, thought you were like the cops or something. Oh, totally. I had a you know firehouse beacon light on top of my quad. Nice. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just kept buzzing them, but they were like dancing up, like they were like jiving at me and like doing shit. So I kept <laughs> driving back to them. It was kind of fun, dude. That yeah. See, I, I used to love going to like spots like this and just kind of just finding like just whatever they call it. What do they call it? Like urban ex urban, urban exploring. Yeah, I used to right. love doing that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's actually really cool. Yeah, you can see, yeah, there's cars around. Like, it's not like it's just like a mm -hmm. middle of nowhere kind of thing. Wait, wow. no, it's, yeah, and there's active railroad tracks along it, and the whole thing is completely active. There's no guardrail or anything, though. Right? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. That's just that. the other night. These it's kids over the corner <clears throat> where that beam is sticking out. Yeah. They're yeah. like 
six of them are sitting along the edge with their legs dangling off the side. I was like, what the fuck? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> My quad was Man, stuck in a uh, 4 gigahertz. I couldn't get it into the dual band. So oh, I really? was trying to fly up mm. to him. But it kept coming back. Like, I kept losing signal. It was just so oh, weird. I had just done a bunch weird. of updates, but... Wow. Yeah, you really... Man, some of those uh, graffiti... Uh, those bombs are pretty crazy. You gotta, like, hang over the edge upside down or, like, hang out a window and shit. That's nuts. Yeah, very fun. Yeah, like that one, the, the pool, pool boy one. That pool one's boy, yeah. pretty sick. Yeah, they've respected pool boy for the last couple of years. They let that one slide. That one is really cool. painted over so much. It's crazy. Mm. Huh. Yeah, it's like certain ones you kind of have to leave if they're really good, right? Like that one's like it has a it's pretty cool style to it. I like the Studio Lambo graphic. Yeah, my wife yeah, hates it so much. <laughs> 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 She's like, there's dicks in there. There's dicks in there. I'm like, I just copied uh, the studio Lambert. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm never going to be able to unsee that. That's the problem. Right? It didn't even cross like, my mind now. I, <laughs> yes. Studio Lambert, apparently, like, they made Survivor. They, like, they're the producers, like, for this, all the major, like, TV yeah real realism shows big time yeah reality tv shit yeah yeah i'm like oh it's mm. studio lambert i'm gonna change that to lambo so <laughs> yeah she's my vada too oh yeah with the jazz the smooth jazz very smooth all night long <laughs> just dial 1-800 smoothjazz.com smooth <laughs> in this episode of fpv confessions we're gonna ask <laughs> Walla to tell us his dark <laughs> secret about his last time he did a no-no that's a no-no at night <laughs> mm. what kind of oh, no-no <laughs> i don't know fpv related us. no-no <laughs> um, so this one time i found a high visibility vest i put it on and i <laughs> may have trespassed and confused dan uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure sure oh, Marcel, you know what you, so you nice. left us uh on hanging though because you said that you had some uh a sad story for us what yep. Yeah, I've I've been I've I've been trembling in my boots w waiting to hear the sad story. I have a seven-inch drone and put floppy props on it, and it made my drone fly nice and smooth. Really? What? I don't believe you. That's not a real story. <laughs> <laughs> the problem need, is, hey, wait, is my controller need... might be shit in the bed because. Uh, my OSD is flickering, and mm. Conrad Tucker Matt is saying that the rail, the three volt rail or whatever the OSD runs off of, might yep. be shit mm -hmm. in the bed, and the flight controller might need to be swapped out. Huh? Because I had that happen to me on um, on my five inch quad. I actually I had this thing where. I would get flickering OSD elements actually as well. And okay. um, when it would happen, and, and I I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> it's because my quad actually still does it sometimes after a crash, but then like I, I unplug, I plug it back in and it's gone. But I don't know if it's necessarily always the flight controller. It might be the sync of your, uh, it might be the sync of your camera sync of my camera yeah so i mean it, my it, camera it, doesn't smell funny at all it smells normal well no not stink uh -huh. <laughs> um but so, you know with, um i mean because your flight controller does the has osd like onboard osd obviously right so i know that with kiss ultra you have to set the sync level properly uh because every camera has like a a sync level or whatever like how it how it i don't know how i don't know the proper technical terms but um 
I mean, I guess I could plug in my, wait, I guess I have to plug in a battery too. Um, I don't know. It, it might have something to do with the sync level, but it also might, it could, it could potentially be your flight controller though, but. Hmm. It's fucked. You're fucked, bud. Fuck your day, bud. Yeah. Fuck. So when I go flying, look at it. See how it's flickering? Yeah. My stream shuttered. Oh, that's what's it. Uh... That is, is weird. Okay, yeah, no, that's different. That's different, that's different than what mine is. Okay, no, yeah, that that's definitely different. Um, the OSD hmm. is going. That's so strange. Gone. That's super I fucking would, annoying. Especially too. if you're a long range rig, I would replace the FC. Yeah. See if it gets better, because I wouldn't trust that anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I think it's man, just the that's OSD. A bummer. Yeah, just the OSD though. Like yeah, it still, it still flies box, fine. Right? I could yeah. fly blind without an OSD for quite a while because this is a trusted drone that I know pretty much how yeah. length of time I have with it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to know what's going on with it, you know. But this is yeah, a this is not. a seven inch, right? You said, right? Yeah. And yeah. Um, so it's not like you were freestyling and crashing the shit out of it, right? But yeah, exactly. It sucks. Huh. I thought I heard somewhere that those OSD chips were shitty though. They're like bottom of the barrel quality chips usually and they're not they're known to fail you know what i mean like it's not a quality thing the reason I, mean, I thought that was a regular thing it it's is crazy odd. What's i thought i thought about actually putting the hd zero system in like weeks ago and then hmm. like i haven't flown this thing in, since last time i flew long range with it and mm -hmm. uh, i thought about swapping it out and i'm super glad i didn't because i would have thought that putting the hd zero system in there would have did this to it you know oh and true look, look when i actually go full throttle to the osc just totally disappears it's crazy really yeah. okay so then it's got to be some power related type blast of scenario. with the heat gun there bud give it a blast yeah. the heat gun oh yeah you never know maybe re reset a solder joint or something so weird. So, so okay. The, what was the last time you flew it? And like, yeah, when was the last time you flew it? And it was when it was fine. I don't know. I would have to look back. Like, yeah. did was this before you moved or after you moved or? Uh, after. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I moved and then flew it, and then it was fine, and then this. Weird. Yeah. Man, that, that that kind of shit always just makes me. It, it makes me rack. It racks my brain, and I'm just like, "What yeah. could it be? What the fuck could it be? Is it this? Is that my like? I go like, ah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah and it's I, I like. To, I I think it's control. with that, something like with something like that with your flight controller, which is you know the main brains Board, of the yeah. whole thing, and it's your it's your long range seven inch. You know what I mean? Like it's an expensive yeah. quad. I wouldn't trust it anymore. I would. Take the rich guy route and just throw out that FC and put in a new one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, try I that. Yeah. Even try to fix the. I wouldn't really what, try uh, to fix the old one. What flight controller is in there? That's a good point, though. MSP bod miss much. What, why would that change, though? It's not like I set up something. You didn't change any. Yeah, you haven't done any yeah. config difference, uh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Great minds oh, think alike, uh, Nomad. Yeah, what uh, what flight controller is it, Marcel? Um, but um, bum, bum, let me look it up. <clears throat> Denzel, are you barbells? I just realized. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got the fake background, barbell background. <laughs> it's a uh, Diatone MK4 F722 uh, with a really? five amp Pretty PSC. Good. That's what I run on all of my my quads. I've got the Mamba, and I've never had anything like that. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to go uh, kiss Ultra there, eh, Marcel? Ah, <laughs> I actually have another flight controller board uh, that was gifted to me through uh, one of the Patreon guys that uh, subscribed. Um, and it's a... What is it? It's a dual camera one, so I can hook up two mm. analog cameras to it. Huh. I have to look at it. It's in my drawer in the other room. Um, so I, I actually just remembered that uh, I have that, so I might. <laughs> oh, 
because I was thinking about putting a secondary camera on that drone. It'd be really cool to just have like a a rear viewing camera, just to like mm -hmm. like almost like having like a rear view mirror. Yeah, cool just to have a look back. <laughs> when like have like a switch on your radio, you could like. Yeah, I'm one of those. Uh, I'm one of those uh, momentary switches. You could just like hit the yeah, switch. Picture and in picture. Look back. Yeah, just make picture sure there's nothing. Picture in picture. <laughs> Picture, picture in picture, so it's like the rear view camera in a, a racing video game. You know, remember you'd have like the little you turn on the rear view camera at the top of your monitor. That'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be super cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. Well, if you uh, if if you want to throw a Kiss Ultra in there, Pyro Drone has them. Pyro Drone. I don't buy anything from the states. From the states. I usually yeah. Try everything Fuck we can the i'm having Fuck issues the right now. unless i have to i'm having oh, yeah. I'm just having issues with uh shipping from the states lately it's just been really brutal what just like things oh, not getting to you or uh three things not getting to me and <laughs> or uh, stupid customs fees i haven't even had to deal with that i haven't even had that issue I haven't gotten that what's, far yet what's the limit in canada is it uh, 150 bucks or something before customs hit you Remember. Well, if you order from uh, any brands that are from a far distance land, you probably don't get uh, charged custom yeah. fees. Right. Yeah. But that's well, a bummer, though, a man. Pretty good selection it's, it's, from it's a, it depends on how much you buy. If yeah. you buy like a shit of time. The only I time I got snagged was from Get FPV. I, and I got ordered like 300 bucks worth of stuff from Get FPV. So I got jammed with customs. Yeah. And I think I ordered a whole bunch of filament from California one time from um, Proto Pasta. They got me with customs because that was like 250 bucks worth of filament I ordered. So, yeah, they hit me with that. That hurts. You get an extra yeah. bill for 50 bucks. Mm. There's yeah, a um... Holy Bro Fat Tech Mini 15 amp flight controller on clearance right now. That's the closest thing we have to like a. Uh... Mm -hmm kiss or anything like that in rotor village anyway i don't know about rotor geeks in ontario but oh yeah no you don't get any kiss stuff in canada man that's too bad i know nomad's got some nice legs there eh? oh Jeez. yeah good turn of good turn of calf <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. show us yeah. his ankles show us there his ankles <laughs> Yeah, oh, man, that's that's weird. Holy bro, Fet Tech. That's that's mm. seems interestingly strange. But you want a link to it? No, no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Broder Village to check it out. He said 15 um, amps, right? Yeah, yeah that's it's uh, like a one or two s friggin' thing. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. I, I've only ever flown um, like OG Kiss and Kiss Ultra. I don't think I'll ever really ever venture off from it. Mm. <laughs> Unless I have to, but it just I don't know. The, the kiss kiss and kiss ultra stuff just works, man. It just works and it's so fucking easy. Nice. And it's flying and, nice, Nomad. Yeah, uh, this is the uh that cinema rig, right? Mm -hmm. Two point five kilograms takeoff weight. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Chunky. Gnarly. Like, What's the all up weight on your uh, seven inch koala? Uh, With GoPro and battery and everything. I was gonna make a I was gonna make a funny joke before you started talking about GoPro. I was gonna say <laughs> all up weight on my seven inch. <laughs> okay, no, stupid. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, man. I can't. I don't know if I've ever actually weighed it. I think it's like it's sitting around like two forty nine grams, something like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. Pretty much. Pretty much as close to 249 grams as I can get. <laughs> Give or take a kilogram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, not that much. No. Uh, it's... Yes, I bet you it is. I bet you you're pushing a K. Look at that big Fire battery. Your neighbors GoPro? must love you. Your neighbors must yep. love you, Nomad. Holy My seven God. inch weighs a kil one point six kilograms. Holy, <laughs> one point six kilograms. Yep, kilograms. About one point five something. I can't remember. Pounds, you mean? Oh, kilograms. 
Really? 1,500 that's a, that's grams. Heavy. What'd you add all to it? I got another battery. It's my, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's that 7,000 7, mah lipo. Yeah. My dude, I think mine is like. I mean, I I can go weigh it right. Oh, actually, no, not not, not everything's on it. Um, yeah, my go my my nomad is nomad. My five inch is way yeah, it's probably seven fifty. Yeah, <laughs> so what I would have done, I would have it would have saved a little bit of weight on that build by using like a twenty by twenty stack, which is annoying oh, yeah. to build with, but it saves a tiny bit of weight on that. One uh, two grams. No, like ten. You no. do lose at least 10, yeah. Not even. For sure. Oh, Michael Stewart nah. asks if I'm going to try out the Live Use ESC when it comes out. Yeah, dude. If I can get my hands on one of those new Volterra ESCs, I'll definitely snag one up. That's uh, it's epic, man. It's like technically 80 sponsored? amp, but <laughs> I wish, dude. <laughs> I wish. But no, I, I, honestly, I don't that. even. Nah, I don't even need a sponsorship, man. I'll just I just buy what I like and I support it and fuck. I, I'd rather pay for it and just you know I, I don't even need a, a sponsorship, man. I'm not even good enough to get a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't even think I need a 70 amp ESC to be quite honest with you. Like I'm running That's a 25. Shit, That's crazy. I, I'm running a 25 amp ESC on my five inch quads, no problem. I got a yeah. 55 amp ESC on my seven inch, so. I mean, it's definitely how, overkill. How but many it, amps can how many amps can a 6s battery even put out? Photo, it's got to be up there, right? I mean, it. Like I guess it depends. Depends on a lot of things, I guess. Can... But badass yeah. bike. Yeah, Bad man, that was a sick bike. bike. We oh. are running. Oh, we already seen this one here, guys. Very sad. Yeah, super late here, guys. I think we're on our last like four videos or something. Getting there. It's not super late for me because it's only eight thirty, but I know it's late for you guys over in the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting here. a little, a little schleppy. Get the fuck schleppy. out of here if you want. You don't have to stick <laughs> around. We've only got a few left. That's all good. I'll, I'll, I'll hold out. Uh, oh, Michael gonna... Stewart staying. Skip through Phone this kiss. because this is just a walking down. I've been street. sitting in this fucking chair since 9 a.m. <laughs> and it's now 11.30. Ooh. Oh, Michael oh. Stewart's been flying Kiss since 2017, and that 70 amp rating gives it a wider range of views. Yeah, like for like cine lifters and just bigger, heavier, dutier sort of applications. Yeah. But Or if you just want a crazy ESC that you know you're never going to burn the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Take care, Nomad. Have a good night. Peace out, Nomad. Have a good night, buddy. Chill. Ciao, man. Boots good. Yeah, clean up, Nomad. Oh, no. Not one of those. The last minute clean up before the wife gets home. You're screwed. Wow. Screwed. Doghouse. You're going to be there. in the doghouse. It doesn't matter how what good you do. She'll know. She knows. She knows. Oh, <laughs> kitty's back. Good kitty. Hey, latte. Aww. I wish my cat would come and snuggle with me like that, man. <laughs> yeah, we don't allow pets here at my place, which is unfortunate because I was thinking about getting a small dog or something. Something kind oh, yeah. of little shit disturber. <laughs> be nice to get a dog that you kind of grow with before you get too old and then you have something, you know, you can really hang out with totally like go yeah, on man. long range trips and stuff like that and be able to find my drone when i crash It'd be yeah. amazing <laughs> yeah yeah that's a, I, dogs so are cool, cool in that, that sense you can kind of bring them along with you and everything like cats you could but you'd have to train <laughs> them or or they, they, they would just <laughs> yeah you have to have a yeah. special cat they they'd just fuck off and go do whatever the hell they want to do because they're cats yeah, yeah, the cat would go find it, cat. pee on it, and just like bury it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Every cat I've ever had is like completely freaked out in the car. Like, mm. yeah, just totally. beside itself, freaking out. Everything about the car is torture. Yeah, it takes and a special you don't even cat. Want to be in that car. <laughs> yeah, My Cammy one cat's Keen's pretty chill. Got a good cat. Huh? Yeah. 
Tim and Gene and Max have a pretty good cat. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That oh, thing did. travels all across the country with them. Oh, that's cool, that's man. Like an SL3. What was this? I was nice looking at I going to say that oh. Leica SL3 is like, oh, that's nice. That's up yeah, there. that's like a $10,000 friggin' doctor, lawyer camera. <laughs> no, it's not that much. Is it not? By the time you put so. a lens on it. Yeah, it is. It's $10,000 well, yeah, for the SL3. Oh, is it really? Jeez. Yeah. I didn't think it was that $9,595. Like $9, no. Hmm, just for the body? Yeah, well, you, and you you put the you put the logo Leica on anything, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, wow. this is great. Be, he's really getting like uh, fancy really with the flight too. Who's this? No Look at that dive. Uh, this is S Fidelis FPV. Oops. That's that's freaking uh, beautiful. Looks yeah, like it Italy or something. Guys, oh, it's the Pianza. That's Key know, West. Coming. Totally Key yeah. West. That's Key West. That's Florida. Yeah. Really Key West. Yeah. Dude. Oh man. I really want to fly mountains like this. Like I've really only flown like green mountains. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, Damn. Oh frick, man. You miscalculate your line there and you go behind the rock and yeah. implode into a billion pieces. Dude, Never to be seen rock, by human eyes again. Rock formations just make get me hard. Yeah. Hard as a rock. <laughs> there you go. Cool I'm playing the original cool DJI the remote, eh? <laughs> yeah. DJI remote, yeah. Hey, Trino oh, Roundtree. Trana. Uh, Trana. Oh, Trino, that brings back memories. I used to uh be an assistant to a photographer. We shot every Trino condo in toronto for like 15 years really? I've been in every single one every single one i was in before they were like half built and all of the uh yeah the model suites and everything i've been in the back rooms of every condo you can imagine it's pretty cool well this is north try it out try it out try it out I this is, uh, condos, two try out condos a week. drones i've been in the round tree i've been in the round tree ones the smaller ones down there they look like fun to dive yeah. <laughs> the one in the damn that's i really cool. wanted to know who the pilot is on this uh channel because uh, the name yeah. is organized for fusion drones and back when i was in college there was that's a guy a... that i helped uh, with a company and his company was organized chaos and huh. it sounds like a very uh, similar um uh, name the same guy it. It'd be fun yeah. if you got into flying uh, drones and stuff. Uh, damn. damn. Yeah, that's the old Lexus dealerships. Hmm? That's the old Lexus like flying off the Lexus Lexus dealership. Oh, that'd be great, eh? Yeah. Uh, so one time I tried to fly my Mini 2 from inside, outside, <laughs> in <laughs> Toronto. And uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just say that as soon as I went past my balcony, the geo fence thing kicked in. And my quad started landing itself because I took off from my uh, my coffee table. So it was trying to go back to that level. I had to reach over and literally grab my quad from the top and just rip my fucking hands up and like so I could get my quad back uh, into my place. Cool. Yeah, so don't don't do that. <laughs> you gotta be there, on bro. the balcony though. Like, <laughs> oh, I was I was on the balcony, but 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 it, it was trying to land and so, so I so I took off I, I, I took off from my coffee table from inside. Flew out oh, the window or the, the the patio thing into the balcony. I went and stood on the balcony, and then it started lowering itself. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was not happy. It went to land, <laughs> and the ground wasn't there. <laughs> that was our yeah. friend uh, Wedgenbank. It was in Chatter. Oh, oh. if he's still here. Damn, this is some epic uh, chase footage yeah. of an amazing plane. Nice. Is Olivier FPV? Oh yeah, okay. This is Olivier. Nice, yeah. This guy's got some amazing he's, footage. <clears throat> he's chasing a atomic dolphin. Adam RC dolphin. Is that what that is? Is that the flight path on the top right? Yeah. Huh. What's uh? What software is this, or what is this? I think this is Ardu Pilot. 
Damn, this looks really cool. This is Seems something new make. for me. Yeah, this, this is crazy. Digital. I would love to get into this. Jeez. Mm. Whoa. That's a little high. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, is that a dolphin that he's chasing? Uh, Drac. Dude. Uh, I can't tell if he said it says uh, Tom, Adam RC Dolphin in the description, but it doesn't say oh, if that's okay. what he's chasing or that's what he's flying. Volts, I think that's what he's flyers. flying. That's what he's flying because that's a drac in front. Jesus, dude, uh, this Blyne is insane. Neil. What's up, Blyne Neil? They must be insane. Is, I totally want to. Uh, <laughs> totally want to build one of these and fly in the clouds one day. Yeah, bro. Me too. I'm, I'm slowly getting mine to work. Soon, my 3D printed <laughs> plane will be flying. So, so much interference in clouds, though. It's like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a lot of these water. things are on the waypoint. You're not even looking at your goggle feed when you're flying some of these things. You're just like letting it go and letting it huh. fly. It's, it's, it's path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, dude, I this is unreal. Signal, yeah, but yeah, DJ, I would like drop signal. <laughs> mm -hmm. As soon as you like touch one cloud, it's like, oh, I can't find myself. Oh, does right. it? Yeah, analog yeah. would do the same thing to get a little, a little funky, right? So, what are they flying here? Is it like crossfire? Or what the uh, hell? Uh, I can tell you in a second. <laughs> Insane. I can tell dude. you. Uh, Whatever it is, I want it. <laughs> yeah. It's a F 405 oh, wing yeah. flight controller. It's got a flight controller. Yeah, Atec tech F405. Sure. Yeah. I mean, so is that beta flight then? No, that's INAV or autopilot. Yeah, one of the two. One of the two. But what's the link? What's the radio either. link? No. Yeah, it is well, it's, it's either Crossfire or ELRS. Doesn't I mean that's yeah, it's one of the two. Uh, Show us what you risky? got. What? Oh no, it's Express LRS. <laughs> it's ELRS. Nice. It's uh, 868 millihertz megahertz. Okay, so if it, it on 868, uh, then they're the in uh, Europe or something. Europe. Or uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, and he's using DJI goggles V2. What? So, Damn. Oh, okay. That's the OSD for he V2. Must have a Vista. It must be a Vista. Yeah, he must have a Vista or O3. Oh, Dude. yep, it's O3 unit. O3 yeah, it looks unit. like O3. It looks nicer than uh, than uh, Vistas. Yeah. Dude, that's too cool, man. Wow. I'd be lost. Wow. I would be lost in amazement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely need that to the uh, direction to turn the home. home right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just the yeah. arrow. Just like turn Where's around. The... He doesn't even have the return to arrow thing. So. No. Yeah. Man, don't you love when uh, you get like just really low laying clouds like that, bro? Like, I gotta love that, eh? Yeah. yeah. But you can see on the map thing of his location, though he's like right above where he is, because the center of that map is where he took off from. So he's just gonna circle around now, yeah. and it's gonna fucking do its thing. Like he's oh not God. even he's those... probably just chilling. You can't see smoking. shit. Oh yeah, yeah, true. You, you you're lunch. not even really piloting it. You're just letting yeah. it do its thing, and then you get the sick footage later. Yeah. Oh uh, damn. Which I mean is kind of cool, but. I would like to see though when I'm doing that. Does it have his? Does it have I'm his sure Google connection in those numbers? Like no. his MBS, his megabits. What's that? Twenty five, eight, three, two, one. Oh, I didn't realize. That oh, number at the bottom three. middle. It's satellites and stuff, and the connection. One hundred. One hundred. Transmission power. Yeah. Whoa. It doesn't have his megabits. Megabits per second or whatever. Dude. <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> That's, wow. He's at zero percent throttle. He's doing 115 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah, just diving back home. Wow, that's that's insane. I really like that. Actually, that was really cool. Um, I guess it, it would be uh, conformal coded going through all that it's shit. Fucking raining down there. Yeah. Ugh. I think I was no just F coming from the clouds. No F's given. Damn. 
Mm -hmm. I want to see him land. He's an instrument rated pilot. Oh, and it's a front. He's got a front and back camera too. Yeah. Looks like switched. Nice hills too. Wow. Nice place to fly, man. Yeah, totally. He's had a lot of cool uh, videos on his channel. Even one where he's uh, chasing an eagle and it like knocks him out of the sky. Whoa! Right. Yeah, it's nice and steady like, footage too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, usually you feel like the wing is a little more choppy, but he's he's smoothed it out nicely. Yeah. Wow. Nice ending to uh, the stream, I think. Very cool. Lambo, thank you very much for sticking around for the whole hey. three, two, two and a half yeah, hours, man. almost three hours. Heck yeah, Actually. man. You did Wisconsin <laughs> proud. Yeah, you did Wisconsin <laughs> Wisconsin? Minnesota. No, it's right. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> Sorry. Why is Minnesota. Minnesota. Same thing. <laughs> I was like, what? Don't feel uh, like Same it. thing, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Latte. <laughs> Latte. <laughs> Doesn't even oh. look at me. Hey, who's that? Oh, hey, look at that. Can we have a cat fight on screen? <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. Sorry, all right, guys. I appreciate everyone oh, in the chat. Oh. Thank you for all being here. We'll reach out to you yeah, next week. Yeah, I love week. you guys all. Cool. Uh, a reminder that next week we have that guy, Grand, and then we have that guy, mm -hmm. Fly. And then, of course, our May uh, stream community hangout. So everybody who's been on the panel, anybody who wants to come on is welcome. It's a big community hangout. We're just going to be bullshitting, not watching videos as much. Um, but, yeah, come on in and hang out and uh, be a part. Uh, right now, and good to see you last night in the video we watched the other night. We uh, watched Kill Tony with uh, Mr. Koala. Hilarious, not uh, as funny as... Uh, the best but it was good <laughs> everyone's showing off their pussy all right nice peace out <laughs> thanks again lambo you're welcome back everybody thanks guys peace, peace out guys ciao telemetry lost